the presence. Sing the presence of your majesty. Forever I'm changed by your love. In the presence of your majesty. Forever I am changed by your love In the presence of your majesty Come on choir, say majesty Majesty That's what we call you this morning, you are Your grace, your grace has found me just as I am. In the presence, in the presence of your majesty. Your grace has found me just as I am. of his majesty can somebody wave those sweet hands to him thank him that you are alive today is a privilege say thank you Jesus somebody get excited welcome your neighbor say you are welcome to church uh -huh. are you ready
for my sake. Yeah. I know this working for my sake. Yeah. Bless this working for my sake. Yeah. Bring up this working for my sake. Oh, yeah. oh Naga. Oh Naga. Oh Naga. Oh Naga. Oh Naga. This is working. 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 Oh Naga. Oh Naga. Oh Naga. He's walking. He's walking. He's walking. He's walking. He's walking. Oh Naga. 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 Oh
Apostle Onu Malaki, Oluwale Judith, Mr. Benjamin, Mr. Benjamin, can I hear those hands jamming for these ones over and over again as you celebrate these ones? Celebrate them. Keep celebrating them. If I have not called your name, please, still come out. Still come out. Come out. If you've not heard your name, Ijoma Emmanuel, Misodi Basile, um, Mrs. Princess Fumi Lyo, Peace Obioha, Bro Felix Batami, Apostle Onu Michael, and uh, Oluwale Judith, Mr. Benjamin. Can you jam your hands again for these ones? You as you are on to our testimony session right here at the City of Wonders where God does great wonders for the people of wonders. And this is a session where we share the marvelous and miraculous works of the God of Champion. And you can connect with us on our official Facebook page, Joshua Ginla Ministries, and on Champions TV One and Champions TV Plus. You can also share your testimony via those platforms by SMSing the numbers on the screen. I promise you, your testimony will be aired on life. Can you celebrate these ones one more time? If your name is not called here, please join us. And you came to share your testimony. Champion, shout fire. If there is a living soul in the house and you know yourself that you are a champion knight, shout fire. That is for you. I say fire. To the glory of God, my name is Brother Felix Batamenagoa. I reside here in area council, Kujia area council, pardon, Abuja. I am here on this sharp, sharp answering prayers altar. How do you call the altar again? I call the altar sharp, sharp answering prayers. Can you celebrate the God of this altar? So, how, wh why? Wh tell us, tell us. Yes. Why did I call him or call the altar that way? Is the only the living God. If that God is on the altar, he will answer you even at the point that you don't expect such. And very quick, fast. I was here somehow last week, Sunday, on this the same altar to testify the goodness of God, how the breakthroughs came. And before I proceed, I want to advise that please, my advice goes to the workers. Whenever pledge is coming out, don't try to connect every word of the prophecy that comes out from the man of God. Come out and key into it. And it takes only someone that has the lion's heart to come out and get the lion's share. On that, three weeks ago, when Papa was saying that those that want to key into this birthday program should come out. I was somehow troubled because I look at my account very red. And I was asking myself, should I come out by faith or not? Something was telling me, Oga, you know what you get to? I don't have it much. But somehow I heard it clearly, go out. I think you have something that can give you such of amount. I say, what is that? You say, what about your plasma? What are you using it for? I say, that is true. It's as if I'm communicating with somebody and I felt the pains. I came out boldly. I came out, I made the vow 
And Papa said clearly, if you know you don't have and you know you will not redeem, don't come out. And the Spirit was telling me, you know that you have not and look at listening to the warning. But I summoned courage and came out. By the grace of God, that very Sunday I left, I went home. The spirit of discouragement wanted to come and was like describing the television to me. How beautiful it is. How it's brown new. I said, no, I must go. And early morning on Monday, I took that television by faith. I went to the market. I sold it. I said, I'm not going back home. So that Prince of Pasha will hijack my testimony. I summoned courage and I answered someone to direct I came here. Coming here, when I came, before I could redeem my vow, I came directly on this altar. I lie down here. I say, Father, the God of Papa Joshua Yila, for how long will I be interpreting other people's testimony? And yet I did not testify. No way. Today, you must give me testimony. Hallelujah. I just make that it's as if I am fighting with God. Because I was, I was feeling the pains of that television. And I left. I went there. When Papa called on me, I went and submitted. I redeemed my vow. He laid his two hands on me. He said, go. New beginning. Papa said, go. New beginning. After that encounter, what happened? After that encounter, when I left, a honorable, a politician that is into properties called on me. He said, man of God, where are you? I said, I'm in the house. He came over and he looked at my parlor. He said, what happened to your TV? I said, it is well, sir. I use it for something. I just left that way. He said, I know. You must use it for God. I said, yes, sir. And he said, the reason why I am here, God troubled me since last night to come and bless you. So when he said that word, I was thinking that maybe he would say, this is 10 era or 20 era, manage your life. That was my expectation. But lo and behold, he said, come out. I came out. He took me in the car. He brought out the paper, which I testified last week with it. That one was just a small portion. Last week you testified about two plots given to you. The first one was given. The second one was given. And we celebrated the God of champions. What are you trying to tell us again? Go straight to the point. Yes, what I'm trying to say. Last week he gave me a plot of three bedroom flat. Fine. But when he called me the following day night, he said, man of God, I have the more for you. And he called me, if media can help me, because in Champion, we don't cook story for you. We don't have that pot to cook it. Even if we have the pot, we don't have firewood. We will tell you real. Medias can show you that. Approval from development control inside a state. Four plots. Four plots! Can you celebrate the God of Champion? Look at that, look at that. Sir, as at last week you told us two. So he called you again and give you extra two. Can you celebrate the God of champion? Show us, show us, show us, show us. This can only be God. Can you jam your hands and celebrate the God of champion? After giving me that, the development control, every they have approved and a single plot in that estate, if you are to buy, your million cannot buy it, except from 1.5 above, but I own it for. By the grace of God upon this altar, by the declaration, because the Bible says, obey the Lord your God that you shall be established, obey his prophet. So you have to listen to the prophet to, be, to, to do or to progress. I listen. Then, after that, the papers, everything were given to me. I am today the landlord of an estate, not only a landlord outside, but inside estate. 
Then my second testimony, very short, this one baffles me. I have people, my elder brothers, my sisters, all of them are in abroad. What will happen? Everybody just forgot me. I was kind of like living a bitter life. Since 2008, my elder sister is in Canada with her husband and children. She can send money, send cars to bless others, building house for others. But me, never. What is going on? But after that oil, by the left hand of the man of God, Papa Joshua Ingila, don't joke with that hand. It's only a privilege for you to receive that hand. When the hand touched me, the oil touched me, my elder sister in Canada called me, someone that have never called me since 2008. Since 2008, never called you. This season, called you. And what did she say? Last night, she called me. She said, please, forgive us. We forgot you for long. I don't know anytime I want to bless you, something took over. I don't know. But now, whether the devil like it or yes, I want you to join me in Canada. Can you celebrate the God of champions? I don't expect you to sit down. Stand up and celebrate the God of champions. Listen. Papa Tad or Tim this month the month of double celebration. Double celebration. He is experiencing double celebration. You shall experience double celebration. Celebrate the God of champions. Not all. Lastly, she gave me two options. I say, but I have assignment. She said, yes, I know. Then think of, is it business? Is it to come and join me over? Because even my son, that is her son in Toronto, is disturbed that they want me over there. And she in Quebec, she needs me too. So to the glory of God, by the word of the prophecy, I am here to return all the glory and the confirmation to the God of Joshua Igila. Celebrate God. Gloire à Dieu. L'enfant de Dieu, le Dieu, il est, il est ici aujourd'hui pour remercier Dieu pour deux choses que Dieu a fait pour lui. Il a dit, euh, ça fait trois semaines, il était là, papa a appelé des gens qui veulent sommer pour le, la, la, la fête qui va se passer euh, à partir de la semaine prochaine. Il est sorti. Mais papa a dit que si tu n'as pas l'argent, il ne faut pas sortir. Dans son esprit, il entend de battre parce qu'il sait qu'il n'a pas l'argent. Mais son esprit lui a dit, vas-y, il faut donner ce que tu as et Dieu va remplir. Et c'est comme ça qu'il est sorti, papa a prié. En même temps qu'il est rentré, il a pris la télévision qui est, qui est dans sa maison. Elle est sortie au marché, il a vendu le, la télé. En même temps qu'il a vendu, il a venu directement à l'église. Il a rentré devant et il a prié à Dieu. Et c'est comme il entend de battre à Dieu. Il a dit, Dieu, tout le temps, tu donnes le message, tu donnes le témoin à les autres. Aujourd'hui, je besoin de mon témoin. Et en même temps qu'il a sommé, il est parti, papa a prié. Et papa lui a dit que sa, sa vie va commencer au niveau. Quand il est rentré, parce qu'il était la semaine passée pour, pour donner un témoin, hein, que quelqu'un a venu la béni, béni, faire la béni avec deux parcelles. Aujourd'hui, il est ici pour dire que la même personne a venu lui donner encore deux parcelles. Le deuxième témoin, c'est que sa famille lui a abandonné depuis. Tout le monde s'en voyait, tout le monde s'en aux États-Unis ou bien au Canada. Et il se l'a abandonné. Mais sa soeur l'a appelé parce que la soeur envoie des choses pour bénir les autres, mais des gens, sa famille l'a abandonné. Et, mais la grâce à Dieu, il a dit que ça c'est l'a appelé, ça fait depuis 2008, personne n'a pas appelé, ça fait l'a appelé pour, dire que, pour, 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 pour demander pardon, et en même temps elle a dit qu'elle veut qu'il rentre au Canada avec sa famille. Et il est ici aujourd'hui pour remercier Dieu pour tout ce que Dieu a fait dans sa vie. Amen. Celebrate God. People of majesty, shout fire! Shout Ororo! Shout in the walk, in the walk, in the walk! 
My name is Ijoma Emmanuel. I'm standing in this precious altar to testify what God of Champion has done in my life. I want to thank God. I'm in the right place. It's good to be in the right place. Praise the Lord. I want to appreciate God for God is so kind in my life. I've been having so many debts. So, the people kept calling me, more especially when I'm in my working place. If I want, just want to start work, Madam, Madam, when are you paying me? This one will call, this one will call. I keep calling the God of champion. I say, God, help me. Help me, I don't know where to start. In this hour of the day, I don't know whom I will call. And the person will give me stories. I say, God, God of champion, I've been hearing testimonies in this altar. I kill to eat. I say, God, wipe away this shame that is coming to me. So that's one now pass. Another one, and I will grant the testimony. Another one that is bothering me again. They call me from my child school. They say, Madam, pray very well. This thing is not ordinary. We have registered all the children. There are almost 1,101 children. It is only your child that the uh, um, uh, computer could not access. I said, why? What? They, there's a portal that they are supposed to register um, the children. And the time had almost elapsed. Others have registered. It was left with only your child. The portal could not open. Just like that. This and your, the debt was um, making you very worried. So what happened? So the portal could not open. They kept calling me both and, and Muslims and non-Muslims, everybody, Christians. They say, Madam, your daughter say you are a prayer warrior. Why can't you pray midnight prayer and bulldoze this obstacle? We have noticed it is an obstacle. The commandant called me by himself, say, Madam, we tried and tried, we tried. We cannot register this girl and we don't want her to, you know, start struggling for this exam next year. I said, God, what do I do? I prayed and prayed and prayed. The next day, they still called me. They said, this portal, it has not opened. As they are calling me, the people that I'm owing are still calling me. The bike will be honing, I'm not hearing. Children will be calling me in my class, auntie, auntie. I'm not even concentrating. I say, God, what do I do? Then when they came, I said, God, I'm going to settle this case here in this champion. God, we give you must give me a testimony that you came on a Wednesday service. That was last last week Wednesday, on the fifth Wednesday on the fifth during the time Papa was anointing uh, those anointing service. So what happened that service? What happened in the service where I was seated? Self was the pillar was covering me, but as I was putting a red T-shirt, he said, "You, you, you with that red T-shirt, come out." You must testify. You must testify. He said it three times. I say, Amen, Amen. Papa declared over you by prophecy. You, you must testify. He said it three times. And that was the word. And he prayed for you. What happened? And he prayed for me. When he prayed for me, I just fell under anointing. It's like I'm matching money. As I fell, it's like I'm swimming in money. So I wake up, I say, what is this? I left home, I say, God of champion, visit me. As I went home, triple alerts. Triple alerts. Triple alerts. Man, you said as you went home, that's after the service. Triple alerts. Is that how to celebrate the God of champion? I, I say wow so I waited to wait for the people that you know and gave me the alarm none of them called me so the next morning one of them called me that did you see my alarm I say wow thank you very much the other ones couldn't call so I was like it's only one alarm I say hey I was not showing my lights baby I said come and see he said mommy this thing is working so now Hey, in, like, I now work like a champion might. I say, give me a account number. Let me test all the money. So as I was rejoicing for those triple alarms, a call came in from the school saying, Madam, the Lord has done it. The site has opened. The portal just opened. And your own child was registered. 
Celebrate the God of champions. And Papa said, you must testify. You must testify. Three times. And now you are standing here testifying. Celebrate the God of champions. Téléspectateur mondial, c'est femme, tu sais pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que tu as fait pour elle. C'était la semaine dernière, avant qu'elle ne vienne ici, le mercredi dernier, elle avait une fille qui devait passer l'examen des militaires d'école, militaires nigériennes. Mais à sa grande surprise, quand ils étaient partis pour l'ouvrir, le Bissaï, rien n'ouvrait. Elle était vraiment dérangée. Mais le même mercredi, quand elle était venue ici, elle a dit non, si je viens ici dans l'église champion, J'aurai ma solution. Immédiatement, quand elle était venue après cela, papa l'avait déclaré en disant, Madame, tu vas témoigner. En recevant trois fois cette prophétie, en disant, tu vas témoigner, immédiatement, elle était rentrée. Et le même jour, le même mercredi, dans la nuit, en ouvrant son téléphone, et voici, elle a vu trois alertes bancaires. Quelqu'un l'avait béni financièrement. Elle ne connaissait personne qui l'avait fait ceci. Et tout le monde était dérangé pour l'examen de la fille. Et en même temps, le même jour aussi, on l'a appelé de l'école que tout était ouvert et tout est reçu. C'est ici aujourd'hui, elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu. Pour le bien faire que le Dieu de notre papa Joshua qui l'a fait. Glorifions l'éternel. Hallelujah. Celebrate God. Champion shouts fire. People of God shout fire. I'm for me. Princess, I'm here to testify to the glory of God for what Champion has been doing in my life. I have a lot of testimonies, but I just want to share one today. 14 days ago, I came to church on Monday. I just discovered that um, I couldn't eat. My throat was paining me. I said, maybe it's sore throat. I bought Tom Tom. I bought one coffee. But the second day, the pain was uh, very severe. I discovered that my neck swelled up. I went to the hospital. They said it's bacteria. Bacteria from where? So I was putting marks. Even when I sleep, I put marks because I don't know where the bacteria came from. I was giving some antibiotics. But the, third, the second day, I couldn't talk again. I could only chat, even with people in the house that were taking care of me. I couldn't talk to them again. I couldn't drink water. Even my own saliva, I couldn't swallow it. I said, is this the way to die? I'm not afraid to die, but I don't want to die in pains. Then one of my friends called me from Canada. I couldn't talk, so I just sent a message to had that um, I cannot talk, I have sore throat. He said, are you sure this is not attack? I've never seen you like this before. I said, eh, if that is the case, I'm from Champion. I just open my drawer, I carry my Aurora water, I put... I Mommy, you know, while you were sharing this testimony with me, I love what you said, and I want that to be really emphasized. You said you already tried some medications, even went to, you know, they gave you, you went to the chemist or so, they gave you, and all that proved abortive. As in, you even explained that it, it increased the problem, the pain. Can you share that? Yes, I'm coming to that. I carry the Aurora water and my oil, I just put in my mouth. I force myself to cough, and I cough out something terrible. All the medicine I've been taking, no one worked for me. I was just having pains, pains, pains. Until I used Aurora water and I coughed that terrible thing out. You coughed something, a strange substance, out. Can the media display that for us? After trying all medications and it proved abortive, she just used the Aurora water, sprinkled on her throat, and she coughed this out. Remove that so that we can see it clearly. She coughed this substance out. And after that, what happened? There was no, 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 no sign that uh, there's blood or something. I just discovered that after coughing it out, I was able to speak. Can you celebrate the God of champions? 
What the medical science could not achieve, the Roro water, just by sprinkling it, this substance came out. Can you celebrate God? Now, mommy, you, you explained something else. Let's hear that. Yes. After I carved this out, I was able to speak. At least I was able to take custard and tea. But the neck was becoming bigger. So in the night, on Saturday, I just said, let me call Papa. Even if I would die, let me call him. And I'll pick my phone. I called. The line was busy. I just put it beside me. Then I slept off. In the night, I dreamt. This church was white. There was no chair there. It was white. I saw horses. I, heard, I saw angels on top of the horses. I heard people running. I myself, I started running. And Papa came from this square side. If you, you know his left hand is like hammer. Just, you said his left hand is like hammer. Yes. And you saw same left hand in your dream. Yes. Papa used the left hand on you. Yes. He just said, you are healed. I said, yes. Lama, lama. I woke up. All the neck that was swelled up. Pain. Everything disappeared. Everything disappeared. Is that how to celebrate this God? Mommy, you mean everything disappeared? Pain disappeared. Everything. No pain, no swelling up. At least I was able to eat some vita. Celebrate the God of champions. Avant qu'elle ne vienne ici, elle avait une toux qui la dérageait en la gorge. Elle ne pouvait avaler de lessive, ne rien faire. Pas manger. Elle était dans des douleurs. Aller dans des hôpitaux, partout dans des pharmacies, mais pas de solution. Avant qu'elle ne vienne ici, elle avait eu un songe et un rêve. Et papa Joshua, elle lui a rêvé dans le rêve en disant, « Ma soeur, ma fille, tu es guérie. » Par la main gauche, comme un marteau, l'a touché. Immédiatement, elle a reçu sa guérison. Et avant que cela ne passe, que cela n'arrive, dans la journée, elle a pris... Elle a pris partout des comprimés, mais pas de solution. Mais elle a pris seulement eau de roro. Elle a ministré dans sa gorge en avalant cette eau. Voici ce qu'elle avait fait sortir dans sa gorge. Ok, vous regardez à l'écran. Elle a fait sortir cela. Et toujours l'enflé commença à grandir. Elle a fait du mal partout au cou. Mais encore par la déclaration dans le rêve par notre papa de Chouangila, elle a reçu la délivrance, la guérison totale. Immédiatement aujourd'hui, elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que le Dieu a fait pour elle. Glorifions l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Praise the Lord. I'm called Basil Misodi and I'm from Cameroon. I came to Nigeria for visa appointment. When I came here in February, for about three months, I could not even get an appointment at the embassy. When I came here, I thought immediately I come, I'll get my appointment. But each time I go to the embassy, I meet some people there. They even get their own appointments, but it was so hard for me, I could not have mine. You were explaining something. You say even those you came before got their appointment, why your own kept delaying? You explained that. So after that process, what happened? Yes, I... There were even some people who came after me, but they got the appointment, and some of them even got their visas, and they even traveled, and I, I was still here. So after some time, I was so depressed, and one day in my room, my landlord came to me, and he asked me, why don't you go for deliverance? Maybe it's a spiritual issue. So I booked for deliverance, and on Easter day, you came to champion here, and you booked for deliverance. And on Easter day, Papa laid his hand on me. Immediately, he laid his hand on me. The next week, on Thursday, I was so depressed. I decided not to go to the embassy again. A friend of mine from Ghana, he called me and told me he has gotten an appointment for me. And after that, I went to drop my documents to the embassy. Normally, people usually apply for two times or three times before they get their visa. But immediately, I applied once. I got my visa. Can you celebrate the God of champion? So you both got the appointment and you got your visa. 
Celebrate God. But what happened again? And that's not all. After Papa laid his hand on me, I applied for a scholarship in Australia. And by the grace of God, I got the scholarship. Can you celebrate the God of champion? You got the visa. You got the appointment. You got a scholarship. What happened again? And I also applied for a grant in a school in, in Europe. And by the grace of God, they have offered me that grant. Can you celebrate this God? Just by an encounter, he passed through the deliverance session. Papa laid his hand on him. And everything turned around. Everything you ever desire will turn around for you today. Celebrate the God of champions. Gloire à Dieu, c'est jeune homme pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que Dieu fait pour lui. Il vient du pays Cameroun. C'était un Camerounais avant qu'il ne vienne ici. Il cherchait le visa de voyager. Il y a longtemps, il vivait des vies vraiment troublantes. C'est comme si pas de percée. Mais à sa grande surprise, quelqu'un lui avait conseillé en lui disant Viens à Bouja et viens t'enregistrer à la ligne de prière dans le champion. Il était venu, il a obéi, il est venu, il s'est enregistré. Et à la ligne de prière, notre papa Joshua il est venu et posé la main gauche sur lui en le délivrant. Immédiatement après avoir été délivré de cet esprit qu'il ne qu lui laissait jamais progrès, progresser en vie. Après avoir rentré, immédiatement le visa tout a, été, tout a été donné. Et encore, il a appliqué pour un pour une scolaire pardon, en Australie. Tout a été donné à lui. C'est aujourd'hui qu'il est ici, aujourd'hui, pour rendre grâce à Dieu, pour le bien que le Dieu dans notre papa de l'a fait. Glorifions l'éternel. Celebrate God. Champion, shout fire. My name is Sister Peace. I am on this altar of healing to thank God for what God did for my mom. February this year, my mom had an attack of stroke. And that affected her speech. Sure, she stopped talking. She couldn't eat. If you want to give her food, you have to force her. So by March, I put her for different with her pictures. So Papa laid hand on that. He just declared. He declared healing. So the night of that deliverance, I had a dream. I saw my mom talking. I didn't even know I was dreaming. I was like, Mom, what's happening to you? She said nothing. That she's okay. I said, but you have not been talking. You made her woke up. I called my people. I told them that the testimony has started. So after that, I said, okay, let me visit. I had to travel to her base. She stays in Ondo. So I went to Ondo State. I, before I traveled, I said, God, I'm coming back to this altar to testify. So we went. I went with my family. I went with the oil water, with oil of wonders, water from the pool, holy communion. I went with everything. So I went. What I saw in the dream, I said, God, I need manifestation. So we prayed with her. So I want to thank God. I want to tell people of God that today my mom can talk. She can feed herself. To the glory of God, may his name be glorified. And I pray that our fiction shall not write the second time in her life. Celebrate the God of champion. Gloire à Dieu, cette femme est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que Dieu a fait pour la vie, dans la vie de sa mère. La mère était malade. Mais c'est lorsqu'elle était venue ici, elle a prié. Elle a été enregistré par la ligne de prière, l'homme de Dieu a prié pour sa mère en direct et aujourd'hui la mère est guérie. Sainte et sauve aujourd'hui, elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le même que Dieu a fait pour elle. Glorifions l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champion, shout Aurora. Shout it louder. By the grace of God, I am Apostle Nomalaki. I'm from Enugu State, Nigeria. I'm here to testify the goodness of God upon my life and the ministry and upon the sticker of this church which last year written triple greatness and that is the first time of my coming to this place and I purchased the sticker and I went to the altar of God which God has been giving to me Dr. Josh Ministry and I placed the sticker there and I said from today Papa Joshua Aguila is my mentor and also my spirit father. And uh, anything that is happening in this room, which is Abuja Headwater, God, do it to our own branch. You came here last year. Yes, you purchased the sticker of the ministry, themed Triple Greatness. Yes, you took the sticker, and that was your first time. You took the sticker to your ministry. 
you um, sticked it on the altar, the altar at your ministry, and you declared that from this day henceforth, Papa Joshua Gila is my father, is my mentor. And you put it, you said this, the grace here should work for you. After that, what begin to happen? After that, we are up to 30, and from 30 to 40, from 40 to 60, we are now each service 100, apart from can you celebrate the God of champion? Before that, you were like 30. After that, it begins to geometrically increase. Till 100, still counting. Celebrate the God of champion. Tell us. Another one that baffles me is that after God started developing the ministry, somebody said, this ministry is supposed to be renewed. And behold, he renewed the ministry and the money is up to two million euro. Can you celebrate God? No, I don't get it. The ministry needed to pay their, their rent or renew. I don't get it. Renew. That the church is started. That he wants this church to be renewed. What is happening in this church? So he wants to renovate the church. Make it beautiful. And it was over a two million naira stuff. And the person did it off for the ministry. Celebrate the God of champion. And even present, I'm here talking to you. The church is now going on with another project. They are now using a lot of things that someone said from Ghana that the altar is supposed to be renewed again. Can you celebrate this God? All this was after you connected to the God of this altar, the God of champion. Can you celebrate God one more time? Tell us. Another thing that is so much indeed happiness to my heart is that I am living in a touch house. And after pressing that sticker and altar, behold, we are now in four bedroom flat. Is that how to celebrate this God? Of course you know, when it comes to ministry, pastors, when they come here, contact the Ororo, everything turn around for them. You already know that. Celebrate the God of champion. Gloire à Dieu, c'est un métier, c'est pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bien que j'ai fait pour lui. C'est un pasteur qui est venu de la, de la province de l'Est. Avant qu'il ne vienne ici, il a son ministère, mais rien n'allait bien. C'est lorsqu'il était venu l'année dernière, il a acheté les stickers de notre papa Joshua Angela. Il est rentré est dans son hôtel, à l'église, il a posé l'hôtel en déclarant, en disant que Papa Joshua Angela sera mon père spirituel. Depuis lors, ils étaient, avant qu'ils viennent ici, ils étaient seulement 30, de 30 à 40, de 40 jusqu'à aujourd'hui, ils ont plus que 100. Et les percés partout venaient dans l'église. Ainsi, il est aujourd'hui pour rendre grâce à Dieu. Glorifions l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champions, shout fire. Yeah, it's working. I'm Olu Ole Judith. I'm here to return all glory to God, the God of this commission. You see, when you don't know your prophet, you tend to suffer. You tend to struggle. And answers will be like as if it's, it's not possible. You see, uh, 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 on the 28th of last month, I've not been to my village for a very long time. Fear of going home. And when I was coming, when we were coming for Wednesday service, my king called me because he always speak with me, we talk on phone. He called me that it's going to be a burial of his mother, I must be home. And I was like, no. But you know, he kept disturbing me. Even some of our members that were sitting, I just, after I exchanging well, I, I kept quiet. Then they now said, what happened, ma? I said, Kai, I don't know. I, I didn't say anything, I came to church. I was sitting right there in the choir. You see, when your father speaks, you know his voice. You don't need to see him. Papa Joshua Igila has never called me and prophesied to me in this church. But when he talks about my case, I know it is me. I know my father is talking to me. I know his voice. Can you celebrate God? I was there and he was preaching on the 28th of April. And he said, that village that you say you're not going, you go and come back and testify. You will not be sick in Jesus' name. I said, Amen. From there, I made up my mind I was going home the following day, which was Thursday on 29th. 
Then when it was laying on, uh, laying on of hands, this same left hand, he touched me. I said, okay, I'm going. The following morning, on 29, I, I packed my things and I went home. I got to my brother like, hey, 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 hey. We did the ceremony on, 20, on 30th, which was Friday. We were at the Thanksgiving in church. And I saw some of my childhood friends, one a commissioner, then another holder one, an ex-commissioner, chairman. I was like, say, ah, Judith, oh, you've not become you on this. We just exchanged pleasantry and all the rest. Some of them now said that the chairman said, oh, oh, you must not go. We must see the following day. The following day was first. And when Papa was, was also preaching, he said, he probably said something that day. He said, first, sixth, fifteenth, and thirtieth, we must take cognizance of these days. And if possible, we should join him in fasting. And I said, ah, first, I don't want to miss church. I said, okay, don't worry, I'll wait. He said, I must wait. But they had a meeting, security meeting, uh, the, that same first in the morning. I have to wait the evening. So that I'll go first. I said, okay, no problem. That wasn't a problem. We went. Then normal first, the prophet and papa gave, I observed my fasting. I was fasting. And I remember he said I should call him in the evening. Exactly 5.03, I picked my phone and I called him. I said, ah, honorable. He said, ah, my be no Judith. We went to Quara State. We are just on our way coming. Before we got home, it will be late. Please, you have to wait till Friday, uh, Sunday morning so that we see. I said, okay, I'll wait for you. He said, no problem. Ma, sir. After calling him five minutes before they entered, I don't know if you know Kwara uh, Kogi. Before they entered Egbe, you were just ascending, looking at Egbe like this. And brothers came, they attacked them. Right there, one of them was killed. The driver too was was wasn't killed but was injured. I was in maneuver to get the car so, somewhere so that people in Egbe can see that a car was parked there and it will think make others to know that maybe something should be wrong there. But him, he was able to open the door and escaped. As he was escaping, he fell into the remaining other, other people's hands. And that was how he was kidnapped. He was kidnapped on first, on second, third, fourth, fifth. There was no news about that. Whatever, whether they needed ransom or whatever, nothing. I, I became worried. Well, I, I went inside. I told God. I said, God, but I heard your, your servant and I've been following him. And he has said it, and you know, I have not shown me mercy. If not for anything, just, just show me mercy. And we prayed. One of my friends came in and said, Ah, Judith, you were a tip, I buy him, only you won't understand. But you understand later. After the prayer, I sat down. I was like, I, want, I wanted to be in church on 5th, which was Wednesday. But I couldn't. All struggles, I had to leave them at home. I was coming. I got to go to these diversions. We were there for five hours. But while I was there, I told God, I said, right now, my papa is on the pulpit. He's preaching. This same anointing will go and release Pius wherever he is now. I called his name. And my less than two hours, I just go to him. That was around 2 a.m. My friend called me. Good news, good news. And what happened? He said, he has been released. Celebrate the God of champion. He has been released. Everybody, nobody could call him because his line, his phones has been ringing. But he said they removed his SIM. I couldn't reach out to him. So I just left him. But I kept asking her to go and check. She went, this and that and whatever. At a point, on Wednesday, I, will, I had to call him. My friend now said I should call him that he has gotten another phone. And now he's okay medically and mentally. I should call him. I now called him. He said, ah, Judith, oh girl. I said, what happened? He said, hmm. I said, I, 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 what happened? He said, you were the last person that called me. And you know when you called me, do you remember what, I, what, I, what you said? I said, what did I say? He said, after talking, that you said, God, you will go and come back safely. I said, hey, I said, he said, yes, you prayed for me. And I said, amen. It was that amen. The next thing was what delivered me. So I've come back here to appreciate my God. I've come to appreciate the God of my father because he has done a great thing. Celebrate the God of champion. Avant qu'elle voyage, son mari l'avait appelé en, en le disant de venir à l'entraînement de sa mère. Avant qu'elle voyage, elle est, elle est venue ici à l'église d'abord. 
Et notre papa Joshua Aguilar l'avait déclaré en disant « Va et reviens, sainte et sauve, rien ne va t'arriver. » Ainsi elle était, elle avait voyagé, elle est allée, sainte et sauve est retournée. Mais son mari qui était là pour l'enterrement a été kidnappé. Et pas de solution depuis lors. Et elle était ici, priée, immédiatement, les anges d'ici sont allés et relâchés son mari de la main des kidnappeurs. Ainsi aujourd'hui, elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu. Glorifions l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate God. Champion Shafaya. My name is Mr. Benjamin. I'm from Kuje Fellowship. There is a God here that changes pattern, that break protocols, and that correct foundations. Celebrate the God of Champion. Tell us. Yes, I came from a family of seven. Our father has seven children and the first two were girls. The first two girls. So our firstborn married, her first two, uh, two children were girls. The firstborn married, the first two children again, girls. The second one the same, the third one the same, I'm the fifth child. All these ones had girls. The first two were always girls. And you are the fifth child. The fifth child. The Tell us. The sixth child. And you were scared you were going to have a girl. Exactly. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. So I joined this commission. By the grace of God in this ministry, three years back, I was prophesied to, and the Lord opened the door of marriage to me, and I got married. To in this commission, you were prophesied to. And God opened the door of marriage and you got married here. Celebrate God. So after the marriage, you were expecting a child. Tell us. Exactly. So uh, my wife got pregnant by the grace of God. And in the fellowship center, one of the pastors even here prophesied that he is seeing a baby girl. You were prophesied to that they are seeing a baby girl. Relating to the circle that has been affecting the family. So you knew that another circle is about to happen in the family. What did you do when that happened? I came to this commission. I know some people will say that if God, if this man is a man of God, let this be. But I told God that I don't need to say that I know he's a man of God. I'm only going to sow a seed and see what God is going to do. So I sowed my own seed, I prayed, I believed God. Now, you, you came to this altar. After all that, you sowed a seed here and you prayed. I want you to get this because the altar here will speak for you. Sure. Are you hearing me? It's not, forget about whatever happened, but this altar, Papa will always, you see Papa, when he's prophesying, sometimes he tells them, take that one to the altar. The altar here is what backs the commission. So whatever you are spoken to, what matters is what the altar says. Connect to this altar. Connect to this. He told me, he said, he took a seed and connected to the altar. And he cried. He said, God of Papa Joshua Aguila that backs this altar. I don't want a repeated cycle. Prove to me that there is God here. Give me a boy, not a girl. Am I communicating? He said that when he was sharing with me, he said he cannot express more that you help him. And that's why I'm doing that. He said he cried on this altar, connected with a seed. After all the circles and the prophecies, he said, God of this altar, prove to me that you are alive. The God of Papa Joshua Aguila. He said, give me a boy and not a girl. You've heard him say, all his siblings had two girls. What happened? Just go straight to the point. After you did all that, what happened? What, your, your, your wife was pregnant and what happened? So I refused to do a scan because it may discourage my faith. By the grace of God, my firstborn came. It was a baby boy. Can you celebrate the God of this altar? Is that how to celebrate God? Just by 
connecting to the altar of the God of Papa Joshua Gila, this family circle was broken. Baby boy released. You told me something. You said your second child again. What happened? Exactly. That, uh, after that, my wife took in again. So this time, I say, God, I know I disturbed you, so I don't want to disturb you. But I know the God of this commission, you can still do it. So uh, last, uh, last Friday, my wife was two days overdue. So she started having some pain. I called our pastor. She asked me that, is she due? I said, yes. He said, what are you waiting for? I told him I should take her to the hospital. So I took her to the hospital by the grace of God. It was around uh, some minutes past one in the night. I was, uh, after that I went, I was with my mantle that held my mantle. I wanted to pray. Before I could say uh, less than 10 minutes prayers, I heard my wife shouting, victory at last. So I went there. I went there, she, she, the baby was already out. She asked me, is baby what? Myself, I did not because we refused to do a scam. I did not know, she asked me, I did not know. So I kept going, I said, let's let just hear from the nurse. The nurse came back and told us, congratulations, it is a baby boy. A baby boy again! A baby boy again! My God, my God! Now listen! You know, the circle, the circle, when God is breaking a circle, he breaks it completely. He said, all of them, his siblings, the first will be a girl, the second will be a girl. In his own case, the first is a boy, the second is a boy. That is total breaking of the circle. Celebrate the God of champions. Gloire à Dieu, notre frère a été si pendant notre grâce. Dieu vous le bénit, que Dieu fait pour lui. Il est le Benjamin de la famille. Parmi tous, il est le seul garçon. Mais avant qu'il ne vienne ici, il dit qu'il va se marier et donner des bébés garçons. Il a cherché une semence et il est venu sur l'hôtel ici et prié en disant Le Dieu de mon papa Joshua est là. Viens et me donne bébé garçon. Immédiatement, le premier fils, bébé garçon, et encore le deuxième, hier, bébé garçon. C'est ici qu'il est aujourd'hui pour notre grâce à Dieu. Glorifiez l'éternel. Celebrate God. Champion, shout fire. Uh, my name is Lillian Mandu. I'm here to testify on behalf of our small boy at home. He wrote his jam, scored almost 200 plus. Applied for medicine. He applied for three institutions, University of Ibadan, Jos, and Benue State University. So we now said, due to the uh, situation in the country, he will not go far. He will read his medicine in Benue State University. So when he went to jam office for change of institution, they now kick against it that he thought he made the university as his third choice. That was where the problem started. When, the, when they went to the portal to open and do the change of institution, for three days he was there, the, the portal refused to open. We became confused. Others were going and the portal will open the for three days. The portal refused to open. Yes. Others will go, it will open. But for his own case, it will not open. Yes. His same mates that they graduated from command Mokodi. He met them there. They did their change of course. But they were wondering, they say you you had scholarship and you are a bright student. Why is your own case like this? They called me, I was in Abuja. I prayed over it. I told him not to be discouraged. The jam office now told him, write all your information here and go. He said he cannot go like that because he came from far. I said, don't go to anywhere. Stand outside and I'll call the resident pastor. He now prayed with me that he settled. I believe in it and I said, go back to the jam office. When he entered the jam office, they opened the portal and the portal just displays his information. Can you celebrate the God of champion? Right after the prayer from the son of the prophet, he went back and the portal opened. Celebrate God. Gloire à Dieu, notre soeur est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bien que Dieu a fait dans la vie de son frère. Elle a un petit frère 
qui avait appliqué pour l'admission de l'école, la, l'armée nigériane. Mais partout, ils étaient pas de solution et l'ordinateur refuse de prendre le nom de l'enfant. Mais sa grande surprise, c'est lorsqu'elle a pris son téléphone et appelé le résident pasteur ici. Et le pasteur a déclaré seulement un mot par la grâce de notre papa Joshua Gila. Et immédiatement, l'ordinateur a été ouvert. L'enfant, le jeune homme, pardon, a été enregistré. C'est un sauve. Aujourd'hui, elle est ici pour rendre grâce à Dieu pour le bienfait que tu as fait pour elle. Glorifions l'éternel. Alléluia. Celebrate the God of Champions. Champion shout fire. I will take off from the second testifier. He said, Papa walked up to her and said, You must testify. He said, Papa said it three times. And today, he stand here to testify. Today is another day. Her Papa is going to stand here and give such instruction. And if you keep to eat, and I'm sure by next week, you'll be the next testifier. Champion shout fire. Shout fire. It is time for everyday Rema. Today is Sunday 16th. And turn to page 111, 111. If you are there, the scripture reading is taken from the book of Deuteronomy 21, verse 10. I read. The topic today is battle mindset. When thou goeth forth to war against thy enemies, and the Lord thy God hath delivered them into thy hands, and thou will take them captive. The meditation. Ecclesiastic 3 verse 8. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. The message. Some battles are meant to be fought mainly by God Almighty. Why some battles are fought by the angels on your guard. But we must also understand that life is war, success is war, sustainability and attainment of greatness are wars. Why the devil is fighting you towards, this, towards destruction and distinction, you must renew your mindset to resist the devil in all aspects of your well-being. Only then will the devil flee from you. A soldier does not prepare for battle on the battlefield. As a soldier of Christ, we must prepare our prayers always, fasting as the Spirit leads, studying the Word of God and backing it up with radical faith mentality. So that when the devil launches an attack, you can speak the Word and take charge. Having a spiritual war mentality enables you to read, to be ready at all times without taking chances. By the mercies of God, even I, Brother Joshua Iginla, have fought to attain and maintain all I ever heard. This is because by the calculation of the devil and his cohorts, I ought to have falling by the roadside. But the mercy of basis of God had helped me to stand still to date. That is why I have also, I have to also felt each and every one of us that crying will not solve the problem. Get up and send your angels on recovery assignment. Fight for your happiness and the fulfillment of your destiny. May God bless the reading of his word in the mighty name of Jesus. Shall we be upstanding for prayers? Please kindly repeat after me. Lord of hosts, today I call unto you to fight all my battles and put an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Prayer. Lord of hosts, today I call unto you to fight all my battles and put an end to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Repeat after me. Mighty man in battle. Every stubborn battle around my destiny. By your mighty hand, 
I command peace be still in the name of Jesus. Mighty man in battle, every stubborn battle around my destiny. By your mighty hand, I command peace to be still in the name of Jesus. Please, let's go. By your matchless grace, O oh Lord, qualify my soul, eternity in heaven, with you in the name of Jesus. By your matchless grace, O oh Lord, qualify my soul, by eternity in heaven, in the mighty name of Jesus. The prophetic declaration. Papa declared, and I re-echoed, I pronounce victory upon that battle in the name of Jesus. Turn to page 80. Somebody shout fire. The Bible says rejoice in the Lord God always and again I say rejoice. No matter the matter, you will continue to rejoice all through this year in the name of Jesus. If you know that you know that no matter what may happen, your rejoicing shall be endless. Come and lift your voice and shout fire. If it's settled, time for announcement. Hallelujah. Mighty God. My name is Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Choosing regeneration, royal people, 
peculiar people. We are called to turn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom, we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah! If they could not stop me, they cannot stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Champion, choosing generation, royal people, peculiar people. We are called to turn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings in our kingdom. And kingdom, we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation, a ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded, we are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven. I'm ever alone. Hey, hey. My God is a mighty God. Oh, what is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder, now you create this world. Hey, hey. My God is a mighty God. Oh, what is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder, now you create this world. Hey, hey. Mighty God. Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Champion, choosing a generation, royal people, peculiar people. We are called to turn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings in our kingdom and kingdom. We take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Hey, hey. My God is a mighty God. Oh, what is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder, now you create this world. Hey, hey. My God is a mighty God. Oh, what is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder, now you create this world. Hey, hey. Mighty God. Is 
Joshua Idilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Choosing regeneration, royal people, peculiar people. We are called to stun the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom, we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on, a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Champion, choosing regeneration, royal people, peculiar people. We are called to spawn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings in our kingdom and kingdom. We take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on, a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop Stop you! Viewers all over the world, we encourage you to make your offering payable to this commission, and we declare that all your desires shall be granted in the name of Jesus. Please let's lift up that offering and begin to declare to that offering in our hands. Let's begin to speak to that offering. Begin to speak to that offering. 
standing in the office of my father i declare that offering in your hand is blessed in the name of jesus i declare your hand will be full in the mighty name of jesus you will never lack anything good in jesus name that project shall be established in the mighty name of jesus as you shout amen it shall be well with you in jesus much less than we have prayed Quiet.
Hallelujah! Somebody shout fire! Still in the mood of celebration. It is time for dedication. Hallelujah! The families of Mr. and Mrs. Abai Emeka, Mr. and Mrs. Joe Kalu Ibe, Pastor and Mrs. David Ubi will be celebrating their children this morning. Please I'd like us to rejoice with them and celebrate with them. Hallelujah. Choir. Oh, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Indeed, this one is different. Hallelujah. What we are doing today reminds me of what transpired in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 26. When Hannah came before priest Eli and brought the child and said, I am that woman who prayed for this very child. And today I have come to dedicate this child. This child is in the sanctuary today. None of them will be found in the mortuary tomorrow. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says in Job chapter 12 and verse 10. That in whose hands is the soul of all living creature. And in the same hand of the Lord is the breath of all mankind. We lay these children into the hand of the God of our father today. And because of this we declare them. Their destiny is guaranteed. In the name of Jesus. This one shall live to fulfill destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. The number of their days. I said it shall be fulfilled. Death will not swallow them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Excellent spirit is released upon them. In the name of Jesus. The sickness that come upon young ones will not come upon these ones. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there will not be sons and daughters of Belial. In the name of Jesus, the voice of the accusers, the voice of the men of the underworld, they will not hear. I can't hear your amen. I said they will not hear. That which God has assigned them to do in this life, they will do without delay. In the name of Jesus, every power, every force, either from their foundation, today we declare them, none of them will have power over any of them. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare them preserved. In the name of Jesus, there is a mark called the mark of Christ. That mark is upon this ones. Let nothing trouble their destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare there will be the correction of the mistake of their parents. In the mighty name of Jesus, where their parents travel, they will triumph. I can't hear your amen. I say where their parents struggle, they will excel with speed. Where their parents fail, they will succeed. I declare today, the God of my father will go with them all the days of their lives. His countenance will continually shine upon them and he will give them peace. I declare there is a fire that surrounds this commission. That fire will be their shield. For in Jesus much less than we have prayed it is settled somebody shout fire hallelujah amen what a beautiful dancer hallelujah i give to you a living child and i declare you are blessed in the name of jesus in your very eyes this child will sit on throne in jesus name hallelujah uh -uh, this one a boy today hallelujah a bouncing one for that matter hallelujah i give to you a prophetic child hallelujah i declare you are blessed in the mighty name of jesus in your eyes this child shall be fulfilled in jesus name amen yeah the men are winning last but not the least another baby boy Hallelujah. I give to you a promising child. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are blessed. This child will cause you to laugh. In Jesus' name. And I stand to declare to everyone here and to as many under the sound of my voice. Whatsoever may mean celebration to you, it enters your hand now. Everyone believing God for the fruit of the womb. By the reason of this testimony, you shall testify. It is so in Jesus' name. Choir. Yes, Oh, 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 oh,
center of my head The wind beneath my wings I'm in the chain For your grace So the beauty of my life 
for the beauty of my life. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You deserve. You deserve all my praise. Yes, you deserve. Come on, join me and say, You can have it all. Lift up your hands and let's worship him and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our God is my thing. Lift up your hands. Just say some words to him. There's something about this God. What will have become of me if I didn't see your life? I've been saved if you didn't hold my hand. Now I want to realize that you are all that I am. You are all that I am. You are all that I am. You are all that matters. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. Oh, 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 oh. You are all that matters. Oh, 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 oh. You are all that matters. And just let's worship. How great is our God? Sing with me. Sing with me. How great is our God? Oh, oh, we sing. How great. How great. How great is our God? Is our God? Is our God? Sing with me. Sing with me. Oh, great! Is our God? Oh, oh, we 
Lift up your hands and thank Him. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. Let's worship. Worship is all we need. Sing like never before. Sing like never before. Oh my soul. I'll worship, worship you, we say, bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, oh my soul, let's worship, worship you, we sing like never before, sing like never Oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship, I worship you, we say bless the Lord, bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul, oh my soul, I worship, worship you, we Lift up your hands and thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Most high. Yes, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are. You are. Most yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Say, so hold the child. Oh, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. You are the Lord. Oh, yes, you are the Lord. Yes, you are the Lord. Say, hold the tyro. Oh, you are. Yes, you are the Lord. You are. You are. Yes, you are. Just lift up your hands and thank him. Open your mouth and say some words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lord, you make the little things I do be like saying I be thin. Oh. Your grace makes a difference as they embarrass me. me oh. I like it. Oh. Oh. You can lead me home. You make me, 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 you 
to pray for one minute just the way the Holy Ghost has laid on your heart pray for one minute pray for one minute from your heart In Jesus' name. Amen. Matthew 27, verse 45 to 27. Let's stand for the reading of the word. Actually, I want you to read it to the end. Span down to 55. But we're just going to pick two 
verse there and then I will elaborate on them. Maybe at the course of preaching I can span through. Matthew 27 hmm, verse 45 Are we there? I want you to ponder it and please don't sit down. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness all over the land unto the ninth hour verse 46 and about the ninth hour jesus cried with a loud voice saying a lie a lie lama sabachthani it is to say my god my god why have thou forsaken me sit down balandociously on your enemy's head i will be sharing with us on what i titled shining in darkness maybe you can scream it and shout it and echo it shining in darkness can you repeat it after me you want to go before i go into the word today i really need to span this announcement because this week is our week of our double celebration i thought you can make some crazy noise Our programs is intact nothing is changing all protocols duly sustained and observed come with your face marks make sure you use your sanitizers 4 p.m. on Friday we're kicking up for the general program it's not just a minister conference this one is a general program if you are a champion mind family you must make sure you are part of this don't even think of coming on Sunday. Think of starting the program. Don't miss any of this program. Any. On Friday, I will be releasing the rural water. On Saturday, the oil of majesty. And on Sunday, I won't tell you what I will be doing. All the days I'm going to, and it's going to be for free. And as well, come with your gift for me and mama. I thought you would make crazy noise for that one. Some of my daughters already have started giving me gift for the first time. The, they call themselves the Oruro daughters. They came in and they blessed me with one I and Mama with a wonderful gift. I thought you would celebrate if you are not jealous. And, and, and I said, that is the spirit. For the first time, they didn't even wait for the bed. They said, now we want to break the record. You have been giving to us now. Papa, this is the time to give to you and mama. And thank you for those wonderful daughters. On Saturday, 7 a.m. is going to be another program. It's not going to be in the evening. On Saturday, 7 a.m., we are meeting every one of us. I believe they have announced some of the routes of the bus and other things. Make sure you are part don't let outsiders come here and occupy space while you are not part there is a grace the lord told me from the one there are specific angels that are going to be this this program is a prophetic one and i can tell you we've been doing programs here my encounters behind the scene about this program is completely different and when I mean different, you can tell. There are a lot of people receiving new songs, some prophecies, revelations. You can tell that there is an angel of glory here. And an angel of enlargement. You will not miss it. I thought you were shouting that one well. That, that same Saturday... That same Saturday, by, by 4 p.m., 
Immediately after we finish by 4 p.m., I'm meeting with all the partners. And there are process to follow. The counselors will tell you. We just have 1,000 space limited. We will not admit anybody above that 1,000. And I'm going to be praying, washing the feet of all the partners. And that day I'll be releasing our Ururu mat and oil of wet to all the partners. And there is a partner's cap, partner's vest that the partners are going to get. So the counselors will be telling you at the table over that. I'll be anointing the partners, washing their feet, and so many things will be happen. The school of the prophet will start by tomorrow, 17th. And I'm going to be taking the school of the prophet myself. It's going to run through, all through. And I will give you all the breakdown for those of you who are coming for the school of the prophet. I will be immersing you, baptizing you. We will be releasing certificate, anointing you from the on. And at the same time, prophetic assignment for all of you in the school of the prophet. On Wednesday for the first time, we are not going to have a service here on Wednesday. I will be all through on Wednesday with just the school of the prophet from morning to evening. That means our evening service is going to be in the pool with the school of the prophet. So on Wednesday, there is no service here. Is that clear? You get yourself prepared for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Is that clear? Somebody is not shouting in the way I want you to shout. Of course, my birthday is May 21st. Potentially, Mama's birthday is May 25th. I have a reason why I said so. We are talking with Mama and the mother, and she broke up a revelation to us that Mama knew I, 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 I wasn't aware so much, and I was so excited when we were talking with a mother, and it was amazing and it is it is it's a mind-blowing one but actually a birth certificate carried 25th of may because of the mistake of the nurse when she was put to birth her father was in johannesburg and the rest but potentially i mean a read date of birth is may 21st with me <laughs> i was just amazed her real date of birth is May 21st. But on the birth certificate, they made a mistake by writing May 25th. So she stick, you know, the South African laws with, with record system. But her mother was telling me, no, I gave birth to her May 21st. So she's sharing the same birthday with me. I thought you are not, if you are not too jealous, can you jump up and make some crazy noise? You know it's mothers that know when they give birth to their children are you blessed okay let's go back now i think i've done well with that announcement just in case i forget are we blessed hmm? i thought you are shouting it well hmm. you do not lie you do not Sing it if you want to sing it. You do not know what it is hard for you to do. He doesn't exist, so it can never ever exist.
Everything is a sign in life. Everything is a sign. And sometimes, if you don't understand signs, you might miss what God has prepared for you. The sun is a token of a sign of the love of God to the earth. The star is a token of the love of God to the earth. The moon. So everything is a sign. So you must understand. That God has created you with a capacity and ability. To shine. Nothing happens. Without a sign. And that's why the medical doctors will tell you about signs and symptoms. Whenever you see a sign bird, it gives you a direction that there is something. What you are looking for is close by. If you are going to a destination... There are some board that points the direction of where you are going to. A sign from God is an indication that you are close to the miracle that you desire to see. In Matthew 27, the Bible said, Now, in the sixth hour, there was over the whole land unto the night hour and about the night hour Jesus cried out Eloi, Eloi lama sabachthani meaning my God one of the things that blew my mind is why would God allow darkness to precede the redemption of mankind. Why will darkness appear? What is the indication? What is the importance of darkness to the death of Jesus and the redemption of mankind? Please follow me. So it means there's something about darkness and there's something about shining follow me and when we look at the indicators in this scripture in verse 47 some of we look at Jesus saying to the father why have thou forsaken me I've had some people ask me a question. Was the father actually forsaking his son at that moment? Was there a break in relationship between the father and the son? Let me tell you what happened in the realm of the spirit. The focus of the father and the son. Each time Jesus talked and perform a miracle he talks about him and his father they are one for the first time the father turned from his son and broke his relationship with his son and turned to the church which is you and i and his relationship was consolidated with us then he bought his son and the reason why he bought his son his son became the 
the sin or the sinner that we are and we became a saint there was an exchange of identity and originality so we became the beloved sons and daughters of the father then the son became a sinner are, are you hearing me so jesus could not hold it because a relationship has been broken for a sin not committed that's why the bible said he became sin so that we ourselves can become the righteousness of the father so when he said why have thou forsaken me it simply means the father turned his back on him and we became the beloved of the father and he became a criminal to to the father are you getting this are you getting this <laughs> this hello this love that god has for you it did not start because you are righteous it started when you are an unbeliever oh god can i help somebody here can i help somebody here <laughs> when you are a drunker he loved you just that way when you are a smoker he loved you that way and that's why you must understand there is nothing you did extra that brought the love he loved you with an everlasting love i have loved you with an everlasting love i have loved you with my loving kindness my love for you is an everlasting one there was no extra you did no 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 nothing nothing all this all these church goers will make you feel that they they is because they are so perfect that is why god no god is saying that why you are a sinner 27 years ago i loved you i was waiting for you to come in now that you have come in can you excuse me to save others that you are criticizing because i took my time to wait for you where you are dancing disco in the world i waited and so if you are not patient for the ones i'm about to save clear the road i waited patiently until you recognize my loving kindness are you hearing me are you hearing me don't allow somebody else to make you feel he's not waiting for you as long as the rapture is still available huh? the gates are not shut the gates of heaven are not are not closed i don't care how many times you have aborted how you are a chronic smoker how you are addicted to drug but can i say the door is still open it's so patient you know your love is kind your love is patient You feel my hurt with so much peace and joy. With so much peace and joy. You're Jesus! 
loves you You love me too much, Lord You love me too much, Lord Yes, too much, Lord Yes, yes, love, Lord Sit down Follow me 47 I'm trying to tell you Signs Symptoms Indicators That You are in darkness Sometimes You become forsaken People just Abandon you People that are supposed to stand with you They run away from you It's okay It's okay so how do I know I'm in darkness when people don't want to come close when I'm rejected by people that are supposed to love me <laughs> when somebody that is supposed to stand by me he's backstabbing me when I feel lonely and I feel I'm not accepted but I'm original uh, can I talk to somebody here sometimes it's not the sin you committed that made them reject you it's because of what you stand for what you stand for sometimes they can't understand so you begin to ask myself what have I done wrong why are they running me down in the family why are my colleagues hating me why are they gossiping me why are they backstabbing me what have I done wrong when you are going through this dark period of life you are forsaken and verse 47 some of them <laughs> that stood there when they heard that they said this man called led for elias huh? and straight away one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave it gave him to drink and at that point they misinterpret what you see <laughs> when you are crying for help they think you are calling a Elijah uh, because they cannot understand. At that point, your air pass we put vinegar. Ah, uh, they will put it there. They will add more pain. When you are in that period of your life, some bad part, uh, some people that you think are sympathizers might really add more salt to the injury. That's when you know. Uh, they took vinegar and, uh, and they put it and said, no, 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 no. Let's give him for he taste because they were making a caricature of him. Have you got into a place where your life has become an open spectacle? Where somebody uses your situations that made you cry to insult you. Uh, you you call their children and say please can you buy me something there and the mother said go and give back to your own and that remembers you that you are 20 years in marriage without a baby they use your situation to insult you uh, you are talking and they said uh, look at you you are 45 without a husband go and get married they use your situation to insult you you are the first born of the family but you can't do anything because they use your situation to insult you you are in the dark part and the dark dispensation of life can i go further can i go further in verse 49 they rest and said and let us see whether elias will come to save him at this period they make caricature and say where will your app come they will say my enemies are a compass around me they said where will my app come they laugh at me he said but my hope and my trust is in the lord that i will trust in the lord because he will not forsake me i put my trust in him because my holy hope comes from the mountain from ends comes my help seller can i talk to somebody here they say let us see whether elijah will come they said hey she will i should go to champion let us see whether the god of champion we answer her they say every day is church let us see how the church will save you 
when has it become an error to be in the presence of God? Why, why will somebody be annoyed that you come to church? That you are not going to a witch doctor, a native doctor, or a coven, but they are using the church to insult you. They say, let us see how the God of Joshua is killer. We answer. Can I talk to somebody here? In less than 24 hours, my God will show up. I thought they are shouting that one well. Shout that amen like thunder. Sit down. Am I helping somebody here? Hmm. And verse 50, and Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost, he died. Are there things that you think are dead in your life <laughs> but tell somebody i might be burned at the earth but my third day is coming <laughs> i thought somebody is hearing that one where well. my third day is coming <laughs> in less than 24 hours <laughs> i am i talking to somebody here they have concluded you and they say you will not be better you might have yielded <laughs> but can i say you are bouncing back <laughs> oh god sit down in verse 51 and behold the veil of the temple was rented into twin from the top to the bottom and the earth did quake and the rock rent how do i know i'm going through how do i know that i'm going through that period of life <laughs> when when it looks like everything is dividing and falling apart but it's actually a way maker is a miracle worker is a promise keeper whenever you see people tear apart out of your life it's only clearing the way so that you can have access <laughs> oh he's a way maker he's a miracle worker he's a promise keeper he's the light in the darkness my god you are great and i know you are who you are can i talk here can i talk like i can talk and the bible said the earth was shaken and there is a quake can i talk here when you are going through darkness of life every part of your life will be receiving shaking and whenever there is a shaking around you marriage is shaking job is shaking no money landlord everywhere is shaking the lord is saying that shaking will not make you fall i only want to shake some things out of your life oh god oh god oh god when you are crying and you cannot hold your peace and everywhere is shaking the lord said i want everywhere to shake you are the one that said i should break the hard ground of your father foundation i cannot break the hard ground if i don't make some shaking all of a sudden an uncle died and you don't understand the uncle is behind the problem and you cry the lord said whenever there is a shaking i want to tell you i am breaking the ground it might be darkness but the shaking is for an handshake can i talk here oh god help me my workers are leaving me is good god is taking the ones that will not make the job organization to grow oh god help me i don't know what is happening everywhere there is a shaking whenever there is a shaking something is pregnant and the baby is about to come out can i talk here hey hey Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Lift up your leg and shut fire. Wait till you they go through, no go swallow you. My name is Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, this shaking will not swallow you. I say it will not swallow you. This that time is working for your good. If that amen is louder, your enemy has swallowed. Sit down. I've not started. Let me analyze the scripture before I preach. Mm. The 
the Bible said, hey, 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 the veil was torn from top to the bottom. Kamani kopayakata. My God will tear down your enemy from their head of the winds to the last born. The problem that brought you here from the head to the last born, I tear it down. After this shaking, you will get access. Huh? Access. 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 Hey! Please have your seat. I am verse 51. And behold, the veil of the temple was torn. Okay, verse 52. And the graves were open. And many bodies of the saints who slept arose. That in verse 52, he said, And the graves were opened. And many bodies of the saints who, 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 who slept in the Lord. Let's analyze that scripture. One, they were saints. Meaning they are righteous, holy, heavenly bound. But they were still in the grave. <laughs> but one darkness of a man <laughs> brought them out. <laughs> so you can be a saint and still be in the grave. Can I preach to some saints here? Who are in the grave? Today, I tear down the grave. Hey! <laughs> When your business is not working, it's in the grave. When you are not experiencing joy, you are in the grave. When there is no man, you are in the grave. When there is no house, you are in the grave. When there is no promotion, you are in the grave. When there is rise and fall, you are in the grave. Can I prophesy? Today, the grave keeping you up all. Hey, saints that are in the grave I prophesy Hear the voice of your prophet I open the grave You are a saint You are not supposed to be in the grave Arise Arise Come out Sit down Sit down. Verse 54. Now. <laughs> Let's go to 54. Now, when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things which were done, they feared and greatly saying, Truly, this man was the son of God. The question is, I thought what would have convinced them is miracle. Miracle did not convince these guys. Signs and wonders did not convince them that Jesus was the son of God. But is that period of life, the earthquake, is death, is tears, is sorrow, Everything that happened, some people, some people will not be converted until they see you survive storms. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. When they see what is supposed to swallow you, you came out and you are alive. They say, ah! Anu Alani, the hand of God of Allah. They look at it and say, There is the hand of God upon this one. You don't get it. You don't get it. You are in the oppression room. The doctors have given up. A woman, they left oppression tensions inside her. They, 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 they saw her back. And when she came back, a 
and they discovered something was there the doctors were afraid they opened her, her back no damage on any of the organs she came out the doctors told her i have never seen this in 30 years of my my profession this is the hand of god i want to go to the church where you are there are certain things where you survive it that convert souls so oh you don't get it you don't get it they ask you how were you able to be alone as a single mother and you are standing tall strong and not crying and they look at you and say no this is that your darkness sometimes can convert souls Ah, yadash. After 40 years of barrenness, you now come with triplet. And somebody said, No, 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 no. Ah, I want to serve this God. Ah, am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? After I went through the blessing of 2019 and I came out, somebody said, No, 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 no. No man of God in the history can survive what you survive and you are standing tall. That is why I want to serve your God. Somebody told me you are a specialist in handling crisis. I need to learn how you do it. Can I talk here? This is not about theory. I'm talking about the things we have seen. Part, start, pressure. What has made us rugged? No wonder I am a born barrack boy. I am a double soldier. Double barrack with fire. No wonder my rascality, brutality, rugidity, and fireized mentality. No wonder I am the way I am. I am built for this. I am fireized for this. I am wired for this. No wonder I am the man that the Lord has given me. We are made for sign and wonder. We are stubborn, radical believer. End time zoom zoom in. Spiritual ancient archives. Am I talking to somebody? Lift up your leg and shut fire. Am I helping somebody here? See that? Somebody said fire. So there's something about darkness. There's something about darkness. There's difference between the power of darkness and darkness. Follow me. Ooh. Darkness is a calling. <laughs> the power of darkness are powers, principalities, forces behind the scene that walk and hide themselves in darkness. To execute and carry out evil. Watch this. There is two difference. Follow me. I don't want you to lose this thought. Between the power of darkness and darkness. The power of darkness are principalities, forces, spiritual negative authorities that walk behind the scene they hide themselves in darkness to perpetuate evil because of the power that darkness carry that believers don't understand follow me follow me don't don't worry you will soon understand now i am not trying to advertise darkness the way you think it but each time we talk about darkness we think about evil so i'm trying to tell you that darkness itself it's an ingredient god uses 
to validate certain things. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, 2. In the beginning, in verse 1, God created the heaven and the earth. Verse 2. Watch this. Follow me in verse 2. And the earth was without form and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Listen to me. Here, underline the word darkness, not the power of darkness. And the Spirit of God move upon the face of the water. So, there was darkness and God was moving in darkness. You don't get me. Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. I thought when there is darkness, God won't move. But I saw the Spirit of God moving upon the face of the water despite there is darkness. Follow me. You need to get this thought. There was darkness, but the Spirit of God was moving. Why should the Holy Ghost move in the presence of darkness? It simply means God, God does not see darkness the way you see darkness. Darkness is actually the womb that God used to hide what carries light. The value of light cannot be recognized where there is light. If there is a light here and there is a light here, light will not be value. Whenever God wants to give light credibility, he erupts it in darkness so that the glory of light can shine. So when there is no battle, you will not understand victory. When there is no sickness, you will not understand healing. When there is no poverty, you will not understand prosperity. So whenever I bring darkness, I want to amplify light. When does the Holy Ghost move in my life? When there is darkness. What is darkness? When I have issues that make me cry. When I think I am lonely. That is when the Holy Ghost is actually moving. So it means if there is light here and another light come, the light will not be significant. The only reason you value electricity and value light is because you know what it means when there is power holding or nepper or whatever. You understand the value of light. So you must understand. Light on its own cannot be value. Because light does not shine in light. Light shines in darkness. Hello. Anytime you are saying God. Make me a light. You are actually saying God. Bring darkness to validate my light. You are not getting me. You are not getting me. You are not getting me. Mike Tyson was valued, and in one of the battles, he was paid about 35 million US dollars because he had to combat others who are strong. And as a result of defeating them, he was able to have his light shining as a heavyweight champion. But when Van der Hollywood, uh, Holyfield, I mean, came on board to conquer him, in that battle he had to bite the guy here two times because he was losing his capacity. So you must understand when you are a light, when a superior light comes and you cannot shine, it will subject you. I thought the Holy Spirit start moving in light. Mm -mm. The first time we saw the Holy Ghost moving, there was void, confusion, commotion, and darkness. Then the Spirit of God moved. Anytime the Holy Ghost sees problem, catastrophe, that 
that is when he is motivated to move Isaiah 60 verse 2. See that please. I'm fo- I-, I-, I need you to follow me. Please. When you understand this message, you will know why you have battles before glory. And if you don't have battle before glory, then Satan is involved. Behold! This is just to just oppose side by side with Genesis 1 2 and Isaiah 62 and Isaiah 60 verse 2 behold darkness shall cover the earth gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen do you know why the Lord will arise because the battles of life actually covered you if there is no I cannot arise. In verse 1, he said, Arise and shine, for the light has come. Some of you don't understand why he's telling him. Then in verse 2, he said, Darkness is actually covering you. The whole earth is covered. Battles, tears, no money, no job, no car. No house, nothing, nothing. Sickness, diabetes, asthma, kidney failure, liver cirrhosis, all manner of problem. I'm going down. Then God said, When this darkness are around, I now choose to now become Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Jara, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Sikenu. Because when I arise, then your light comes. Your light cannot be valued until darkness comes. Whenever there is a weeping, touch your weeping my endure for a night. But your joy cometh in the morning. The value of joy cannot be seen until you have tested sorrow. Mark, look for this. Some of this, what some of you don't understand. The devil does not introduce darkness to you mm. because he understands each time he introduces darkness to you, not the power of darkness, darkness, dark situations of life, it amplifies your light. Check all the three temptations in, in Luke chapter 4. Turn a bread to become stone. There's no darkness there. He took him to the eye pinnacle. All the kingdom, he was introducing him to light. Because everything about it, if you can, anytime it is sweet, anytime it is convenient, God is not involved. Please follow me. Anytime it is easy. All the kingdom of this earth, they belong to me. If you come back, you 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 think the devil appear with his own? See them, please let me talk to you. Some of you are looking for devil. You think those things they draw and show you that's the real devil? That's not the devil. Those are the elementary demons. The devil is an handsome, beautiful guy. He doesn't appear with ugliness. Stop, stop all this thing. Some of you think when the devil appears, he comes with that, with that cloth and appears with his Dracula mouth. That is not the devil. Those are apprentices. The real devil will appear with luxury, with cars, with kingdom, with splendor, with music, with beauty, with apparel, with majesty. He knows it that your light will not shine as long as it introduces you to life. But when darkness hits your life, light shines. Some of you have, I'm not holding brief for him. You are accusing the devil for what you use your hand to cost. 
Watch it now. When a man wants to deceive you, he comes with all the sweet mouth and the fake thing. That is the real devil. The one that can sweep you up your feet. That's the real devil. 419. Dollar, 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 dollar. 10 billion, 10 billion, 10 billion. That's the real devil. The real devil will introduce light. Because if he can capture you with his attraction, and convince you with his attraction, you are finished. Is this thing working? Is it working now? Is it sinking now? So when do I know that the Holy Ghost is moving? When I think that I am done. The word darkness there is when all battles and all hell are broke loose. The Holy Ghost is actually with me. Some people will tell you that what have you done wrong to God? Why are you going through all these uncertainties? It simply means your light is more brighter. Anytime your light is bright. Put verse 4 of Genesis 1. Darkness is a calling. And God saw the light and it was good. And God divided the light from darkness. Verse 5. And God called the light day and the darkness he called he called darkness is a calling you are not hearing me <laughs> I repeat it again he called you are not hearing me am I the one that says so are you not seeing it he called the light day God even gave darkness a calling that wherever light appeared darkness you have a calling to appear because if you are not all the light will not be valued so anytime i said yeah are the light of the world i have called darkness to validate your light if you can get this salmon you don't have any reason to complain you are not hearing me darkness is a calling to validate your light of what value is light to light the value of light is because darkness and Defies it. Okay. Let me let me give you another one. John 1 5. I know you have read it, but you might not understand. I'll break it into smaller particles. John 1 5. Blow it for me. And And the light shined in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Ladies and gentlemen, where does the light shine? No, please, where does the light shine? If the light does not shine in darkness, it's not a light. You are not hearing me. And the light, what? And the light, what? And the light what where does the light shine in sickness in commotion in gossip in criticism in name calling in backstabbing in judas iscariot in betrayal in attack in campaign of calumny in attack from frenemies in backbiting in obstacles in troubles in trials of life in tears then light shine if there is no darkness then the light can shine if your light is not shining there is no uh, there is no required called darkness for every calling of light there is a correspondent calling of darkness to amplify the light scripture i want to show you something now you are the one thinking the devil is attacking you 
and that the devil knows what he's doing. Mm -mm. The devil is not actually attacking you. You are the one saying, I don't understand why I'm crying. Hear what brother darkness say. Blow it. I know you have not seen it. Let me break it again. And darkness comprehended it not. Darkness is saying, I don't understand why I'm dragged to this guy. I don't understand that when every time he wants to shine, they will bring me to cover him. I cannot understand why I am called around him. I don't wish to attack him, but I am dragged because I don't understand. You are the one that think darkness understand. Darkness say, I don't understand. I cannot comprehend why I am used as a attack. Brother, darkness doesn't understand anytime you are about to rise. Why God called him to come around you? He's telling God, I cannot comprehend. This is a deep mystery. And God said, This is not for you to understand, it is for light to understand. That each time it is about to shine, I bring something. So when that thing comes, People out there see this as an attack. I see it as a next level for him. You are the one now behaving like brother darkness. I don't understand God. Why am I under attack? God said three days ago you prayed for promotion and I'm about to promote you and you are complaining. So you can see devil doesn't wish to attack you because the more he attacks you with darkness the more your light shines that's what the scripture said if the prince of this world had knew that he is going to be glorified they wouldn't have crucified they wouldn't have tried. So God allow the amount of time you actually cry is actually in the realm of the spirit the amount of time of your joy. You are the one that does not understand. I thought I'm gone. <laughs> you call for light out of darkness. So, the light was inside darkness. The womb that carry light is actually darkness. <laughs> Nine months, you were hidden in the womb of your mother in the dark places of life. And God took your memory away. And you could not remember you were in the field uh, and in the midst of blood. Uh, and you could not see the sunlight. Uh, because each time God wants to do something, he hides, uh, he hides it. Uh, he makes sure that nobody sees it. Because if somebody sees it, they kill it prematurely. Whenever the light shines, it is matured. That's why it is allowed to shine. That's why when your time came for you to see the sunlight on the day of earth, you fought your mother. You burst the stomach. It is called labor pains. And the water busted out for you to come out from the hidden part of life. When your time comes, you will be Moses in Pharaoh's house and have all the paralysis and all the satisfaction. But you will never be satisfied until you cause a murder and be an ex-convict and they are chasing you and by the time you know you will be in the wilderness for another 40 years at 80 your light will burst out shine 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 I'm not hearing you well Say it well. Say it well. You know, the people from the other place call us black. We are not actually black. We are not black. We, 
Is this your skin color black? No, we are not black. But they call us what? Black. We are not black. Do you know why I know the, the black race that they call you? That's why the gospel is so heavy here. Because they darker the day. The more indication that the day is about to break. Anytime the money is about to break, you see the whole place darker. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sit down. All through my life, in my journey with God, anytime it gets tough, that's when I get a promotion. Anytime it becomes overwhelming, that's when I get an overwhelming testimony. One day, I was praying at the trash floor in my house, crying to the Lord. And I said, Lord, I don't understand this series of battles. And the Lord said, you've cried to me to amplify you as a light to the whole world. And I said, you are not giving me a breathing space. I live from one, I enter one. And he said, it's because you said I should rush you. And he said, can't you see when you add this, I did this and that and that. When you add this, I did this and that and that. When you add this, I did this and that and that. He said, I am only amplifying your light. Your question is, why me? Why all these bad things are happening? me why it has to be me lord some people say all things work together together for good for good to those who are called according to his purpose sometimes i feel why why it has to be me lord and the lord said it has to be you because you ask for the glory. Mm. God of the mountain. He's the God of the valley. When things go wrong. You make them right. You make them right. Lord. Yes, you make the right, Lord. When things go wrong, you, you make, make them right. God of the good time, He's the God of the bad times. When things go wrong, you make them right. I, you made them right, Lord. You made them right, Lord. When things go wrong, you made them right. We're discussing with my wife before now how I wanted Mama to sit next to me 
for this birthday. I said, for the first time, I want her to sit next to me. I want to just feel her. I said, I won't let her sit at the back. I was telling her, my wife, for the first time, I said, I won't let her sit next to me. I want to feel my mother. I was just talking, we were laughing with her. And then, the Tuesday, God told me, no, I'm taking her home now. And I said, Lord, why can't you just allow her to just feel this next birthday? And then you can take her. He said, no, it's time off, time is up. And I said, Lord, I, I don't know if I can take this. And, and the Lord said, I call for light out of darkness. <laughs> you can't question me. I do my things the way I want to. I was to be worried the next day. Prophet Jeremiah was calling me. And then I lost my mother on Thursday. And the Lord asked me while I was lying down, if you are to be your member that lost their mother, will you preach the gospel? I said, yes. I said, go. I hopped into the private jet, went. I ministered as if I never lost my mother. I'm talking about God of the good time. He is the God of the bad time. When things go wrong, make them right. You make them right, Lord. Yes, you make them right, Lord. When things go wrong, you Your darkness is your promotion. Don't allow the devil to make you misinterpret your darkness. It's okay to cry. It's okay to break down. But don't give up. Because it's actually your certificate that usher you to the next level of your life. There might be valley. There might be red sea in front of you. And the armies of Pharaoh behind you. I will make a way. I will make a way where there seems to be no way. I am God all by myself. For you are God all by yourself. Yourself, you are, you are, you are, yes, you are, yes, you are, you are, God of are, yes, you are, you are, you are, God of are, yes, you are, yes, you are, nobody else but you, Lord. You are God who oh, by yourself. Yeah. Yes. Nobody else but you, Jesus. You are God who oh, by yourself. Lift your voice and say, You are God. You are God who oh, by yourself. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Oh, what the? You are God who oh, by yourself. I was in a aircraft. There was a great turbulence that was bad. Who could, I could literally see that the plane was, was going to crash. And I closed my eyes. And I said, Lord, this is not what you told me. I said, son, I am God all by myself. And I worship God. I closed my eyes. I didn't think about the environment. I just saw myself in the presence of the ancients of this, lying and prostrating before him, worshiping God. And I was singing before him. I was talking to him. I was worshiping him. I did not know that the storm was over. We came out of it, but I was still in worship deep in front of him. 
And then the Lord told me, I am the same God who kept you in that storm. If I allow anything to happen to you, it's because you are God over yourself. You are God over yourself. You are, you are. You are God over yourself. You are, yes, you are. You are God over yourself. We lift your praise. We lift your name, Lord. You are God over yourself. Thank you, Jesus. You are, you are, you are, you are God of all yourself. You are God of all yourself. That's who you are. You are God of all yourself. Exodus 10, 22, and I'm rounding up here. I, I, I love the scripture. We just read 22 and 23. Moses stretched forth his hands towards the heaven and there was thick darkness in all the land of Egypt for three days. Three days. Thick darkness. For three days. Look at the kind of darkness. Even their candlelight could not stop that darkness. Put it there. Put it there. Put it there. Verse 23. They saw not one another. Neither rose any man from his place for three days. But all the children of Israel had light in their dwellings. Now, for three days they were lying down in the same room. They lit their candle, their lampstand, but they could not see one another. <laughs> they, 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 they tried to light to, to, to bring light but they could not see one all the Egyptians they were staying together for three days no one could see one another but in the camp of the Israelites the Bible say there was light in their dwelling place the light that shined was not their candlelight the Lord told me in the realm of the spirit, anytime you see light, it is the light inside you that reflects out. Hear me. In the realm of the spirit, everywhere is dark. When you enter into it and you begin to see light, it is the light inside you that shines. What you see in the dream as light that makes you see clearer it is the light that you carry and the amount of light that you carry will determine the amount of revelation you carry that's why when a member who is not born again sees his pastor in the dream in an ugly manner i don't blame you because you don't carry supernatural ability to see me. So it is the light that you carry. You cannot carry Mama Tukule light and see a sunlight. When I hear members say, I see my pastor wearing black coat. How can you wish already black see a white? It is your level of light that will determine how you can see. Blessed are the pure in art. For they shall see God. If your heart is not pure, how can you see me pure? If your heart is not pure, how can you see me genuine? Where you are not genuine, how can a 419 or a drug dealer or a, a witch see me as, a, as an angel? You are a vampire and you want to see me. How can you see me? You will see something different. Because your level of revelation can't carry my revelation. You can't, there are people you can't dare to see their light. If you try to turn and face
face sunlight, your eye go blind. There are certain things you can't see. When you say you don't understand me, it's because you cannot understand me. My light is too heavy for you to carry. You must carry an heavy light to be able to withstand my light. Somebody sees my wife, Prophet Estella, and you are running her down. It's because you are a witch now. How can you see an angel like this and you can't see? You are a witch. And in our family, we don't interpret wish. Wishes and wizard. You can't see. But when you see, you'll be able to pay. Can I talk here? It's not every revelation people see about you that is true. Because it's the light they carry. When oh, see that please. I'm running up. Watch this. When you close, see this, see this, see this. Please, when you close your eyes, what happens? Everywhere go dark. Isn't it? And then one day you say, I am dreaming. Now you think, say, you know they see. Some of you would think you are not a prophet. So that thing you saw, you close, now when you close your eyes, now close your eyes. What are you seeing now? What are you seeing now? Do you know why you are seeing darkness? Because you have not switched into the realm of the spirit. Your flesh is holding you down. But you know what happens when you are able to dream? You allow your flesh to go down. Your flesh has, has, has been caged down by your spirit man. Your flesh is now relaxing after 12 days walk. So the spirit man in you come out. When you see yourself by the ball of trash bin. It's because that is the kind of light you carry. You are swimming in the water. That's the kind of light close to mommy water. You see yourself. You are, uh, you are eating in the dream every time. Maybe glutonous light. And you don't understand that that's the kind of life masquerade are chasing you ancestral power from your father's side that's the kind of life you see yourself among angels that is the light of the angelic hey see that blessed are the pure in art for Desha, someone say, Papa, I don't know why I'm not seeing angel. I'm not seeing God. How can you see? When we talk, he say, Is it just easy to see? Yes, when the art is pure, you see the pollution of the art will determine the pollution of the visual capacity. The myopic sight that you carry is as a result of the myopic thinking you are thinking. The reason why you're, you are having epileptic dream and paralytic dream is because your spiritual life is epileptic. Your power supply has failed. Your visual capacity has failed. Today I bring spiritual lens to correct your sight. Let me stop here. Some are made for. Tomorrow I bust out for the school of the prophet. Are you hearing me? Hey! Next time, whenever there is a bad news, on your prophetic praise and dance. Because whenever there is a storm, a star is about to shine. And then you take your dancing step. If you don't know how to dance, go and learn. When you are dancing, the devil say, What is going on? Sotoya, Evra Kutaya, Paranto Sakata, Ikado Kataka, Badika Goduya, Ego Goduka Kataya, Elegedu Sata, Ratatata, Irakata Kapaya, Gojikataya Ladia, Eko Taya Lada, Parata, 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 Ela Takata, Ikata Kata, Ekadu Kata Gutu Kata, Eko Dogodo, Goto Goto, Eko Dogodo Goto. Shaka, Ebra Godo Kata, Ela Kata, Godika Lataya, Kabaka Dakaya, Ekata Kaduya, Ikata Godu.
Kadusha, Eva Kupusha Pata Igada, E Palata, Palata Yata, E Posata. Stand up, let us pray. Say, my father, my father, let my light shine. Let my light shine. In the darkness of this world. Let the darkness. Open your mouth and pray. My father, let my light shine. Let's go, 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 let's go
In Jesus' name. Amen. Sit down. You are marvelous. Everybody! Yeah. 
of celebration and all over. There's something God wants to do for you in the next 65 days. I saw you caged for 18 months. A lot of things have been delayed. Amen. But God said, this is your season for turnaround. Uh, can you power the mic? Amen. I'm seeing seven angels with seven candlelight. Amen. And the Lord said to me that I will do what no man can do for you. Stand up. You are the stand up. You are the David of your family. Amen. Amen. And listen to me. God will begin to do some things that will amaze you. Amen. Thank financially. You. Amen. I'm not talking about the battles. Forget it. I see a house released. Amen. I, I, I see restoration of glory. Amen, I amen. see divine calling consolidated and the oil of God manifesting beyond boundary. Amen. I see doors of nation number five open for you. Amen. Uh, some of them I are see. jealous. I they are see. jealous. I they see. are. Bring him here. Watch your screen. Bring him here. You can Bring him here. The strong man of your father's family, God said, I'm bringing him down. Amen. There's something about the glory that you carry, yes, but Lord. there's a strong man fighting your father's house. Yes. You ought to have been more than where you are. And but if God be God, come here by virtue of this part, there's going to be a testimony. I need to see you. There's going to be a big testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody shot fire. The louder the amen, the quicker the miracle. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Yes, Are you in ministry? Yes, sir. Are you in ministry? Yes, sir. Stand up. Stand up. I, I, I see the call of God upon your life. Yes, sir. But there are a lot of battles. Yes, a sir. lot of battles. Yes, in sir. fact, what I'm preaching today is one of the reasons that you enter ministry. Yes, sir. It was in a dark days of life that you receive the call of God. Of course, sir. You are right. I is... see in the realm of the spirit what happened so many years ago like an accident. Like an accident. Yes, sir. An accident. I have an eye on wait, you. wait. An accident. Yes, sir. On Kefi Road. Yes, sir. You had the accident. You almost died. Yes, sir. You came out from a big family. Yes, sir. But there is a witchcraft battle. Yes, sir. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yes, sir. Then out of the nine, I didn't see one. I didn't see another one. I didn't see another one. Right, I didn't see the fourth one. Right, I didn't see the fifth one. Yeah, right, the sixth one was killed. Yes, the seventh one was killed. Course, the eighth sir. one was killed. Course, you are sir. the only one that is remaining. Yes, yes, In sir. 2004, yes, you almost died. Yes, sir. Is it true? It's true Stand sir. up. Super your your left hand was affected. You were in the hospital in your dark moment when that woman came to give you Bible. Yes, sir. It was the Bible that brought you into ministry. Yes, sir. That's why you call it Dr. Jesus Ministry. Yes, sir. Hospital Chapel. Accuracy. Are you just Accuracy. watching like that? Can I do what I'm born to do? Somebody say, Oh, Roro. Here, the oil is heavy. Hey! Oh, Roro, what? I see your face. I prophesy. Your life has been under severe attack. Of course, sir. One strange woman was just killing the children, killing them one after the other. I don't want to go deeper more than this. But I want to reverse all this battle. Amen. <laughs> If there is a man to tie, there is a God to lose. Uh. Yes, Lord. Are you God. hearing me? The arrow is going back to sender. Amen. Wherever you are watching me, the arrow is going back to sender. Amen. A professor, Amen. you will not be buried. Amen. They cannot kill you the way they kill others. Amen. They cannot. 
not swallow your blood the way they swallow Amen. every vampire sent to suck your blood they will suck their own blood I thought you are shouting that amen wherever you are watching me on social media on Facebook on YouTube and Champions TV 1 and 2 you are free keep calling the number who is fighting me they are about to leave you now I need to see you there's a lot Okay, sir. They're too deep. I can't even say. They are too deep. You are in the midst of battles. Yes, daddy. The work is not growing the way it's supposed to grow. Yes, sir. But the work will start growing now. Amen. There's a Aurora in the house that makes things easy. I don't like the way they are shouting. When you enter this church, you know that glory of God is here. Except you are a wish. <laughs> Congratulations. Daddy, thanks, sir. Congratulations. Thanks, sir, daddy. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Wow. Come here. Bring him. Bring him. God has set him free. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him. You want God to open your eye, Abby? Eh? Well, why you, why you do your eye like that? You want God to open your eye, eh? Yes. So that make you the see the way I they see. Bring him. Bring him. What is happening to you? Why are you looking like glucosate like that? What is happening? That is th it's too much, sir. Uh, bring him. Uh, uh, the eye is blinking. Bring him. You, you came to see, see eh? Eh? Yes, sir. You came to see. Yes, sir. You came for even the prophetic school, Abby. Bring him, bring him. What is happening? What am I? What is happening? Ah, what is happening to you? Ah, fire is too much. Fire is too much. Bring him. You want to see? Bring him. You want to see? You want to see? Ah, yes, sir. Bring him. Bring him. Bring him. Why are you doing like Lucas? Bring him. What is happening? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Why are you crying? Even me, what I'm carrying, I don't understand. Bring him. Look at the eye. His eye is blinking. Oh man, should you buy? Oh, should we buy? Bring him. Now, so the thing they do me, me man, I don't know how to hold my eye. I hope more Rajuni, they be like a man when the eye open. Eh? You want to see? Eh? Bring him. Uh, uh, you can see that uh, the man of God is how are you? Him. You are are you feeling with your body? Fine, now, uh, uh, bring him. Uh, his own uh, impartation have started. Bring him. Bring him. How are you? How are you? Bring him. Uh, leave him to stand. Uh, uh, what is happening? Uh, stand like a man, be like a man, be like a man, like a man, like a man, like a man. Hey, 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 a man. Let him stand like a man again. A man, a man, a man, warrior of the Lord. <sighs> oh, Yakata. Glory to Jesus. Just to make you know that this thing is not a film trick. Not a film trick. They think they walk here. If they walk, if they walk, if they walk. Even here, you don't know. You don't know how they think they do. That's why you see us not standing one place. Now the way the Aurora they do us, they do like electric shock. If you want to stay one place, no go if you walk out one place. That's why I don't used to stay one place. The thing is moving me. So when you see me come and put it in you, it's because of the thing. I have to reduce the current. 
so that the transformer should not blow. So we have to connect. The beauty of transformer is to connect. <laughs> hey! Somebody shot fire! Shot fire! Yeah, 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 Hey! Why? Don't tempt me. There have been a battle that has been facing your life. Yes, sir. You were doing extremely well. Yes, sir. Very well. Yes, sir. Financially, you were doing well. Yes, come, 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 come. You were doing very well financially. Yes, sir. But all of a sudden, the devil attacked you. Yes, I saw you, you went home in you went home to build a house yes, for your mother. Yes, sir. Because you felt that it befits yes, her. When you built yes, that sir. house, that was the beginning of yes. your battle. I, is it true? Answer me. Yes. Is it true? Yes, is it true? Yes, I see myself in Benway State. Yes, and I hear Ibrahim. Yes, Asad. Yes, and I hear Blessed. Yes. Is it true? Yes, you were working yes. in NMPC. Yes, yes, is it true? Yes, Supernatural. Prophetic. Since then, everything about your life has yes. happened. Do you know what they did to you? Yes, Do you know what they did to you? Yes, they took your money, they buried it in the coffee and took it to a graveyard. Oh they attacked you, your cars, everything scattered. Oh Things are just going down. Yes, Here, I'm about to restore the glory Amen. back. Amen. I thought they are shouting that Amen well. Amen. Jesus. As I'm talking to you, that person behind your battle from your father's house. Amen. Can I prophesy? Can I kill what need to be killed? Any winds troubling your life from your father's house, I kill them. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! There are deeper things I need to tell you. It's not a public talk because you, you are even very stubborn. You carry family too much. It's good to carry family, but the way you carry it now, they kill you so. Yes, and there's addiction that is happening now. Yes, sir. You can't control it. Yes, sir. Something in the bottle, you can't control. Yes, sir. You go beyond. Money doesn't stay. Yes, Once the money... You, you are trying to ease your frustration. Yes, you don't know how to. Yes, sir. Prophecy with precision. <laughs> the mighty name of Jesus. Don't worry, I need to see you. you hear me? Are you blessed? We have a lot to do within this week. So I have to close you today very early. Eh? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Somebody shout fire. The way you are shouting that fire, I don't even know what. You, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? Stand up, please. Stand up. Yes, There's sir. a lot of battles. Yes, sir. The battles are so much way back, way back. Yes, sir. You were walking, doing very, very well. Yes, sir. All of a sudden, one problem with your life, they will always lay an allegation against you. Yes, sir. And after they lay the allegation, you suffer for what you don't know. Yes, sir. I enter a financial institution and I see you in that financial institution. Yes, sir. This is a union bank. Yes, sir. And you are like a manager. Yes, sir. And then all of a sudden, they lay an allegation. Yes, sir. They sack you unjustly. Yes, sir. You drag them to the court. Yes, sir. You won the case. Yes, sir. They gave a verdict. Yes, sir. And you drag them again. Yes, sir. You won the case. Yes, sir. They are supposed to pay you some compensation. Yes, sir. They have refused to pay you. Yes, sir. I see myself in Benway. Yes, sir. From Benway, I enter Joshua. Yes, sir. I see battles facing your life. Yes, sir. These battles are not just ordinary. Ah. Today, this the end of this Amen. battle. Amen. I don't like the way they are Amen. shouting. I don't Amen. like the way they are shouting. Amen. I don't like the way Amen. they are shouting. The battles from your father's house is about to scatter. Amen. I say it's about to scatter. Amen. Stand here. There's, got, there's about to be a restoration. There's about to be a restoration. Amen. Who is joy? My wife. Who is rejoice? My daughter. Who is mercy? My daughter. Who is Joshua? 
my son, Gideon? My son, somebody shut fire. Shut fire. Shut fire. In the name of Jesus, free. I need to see you. Am I blessing lives here? Am I blessing lives? The louder the amen, the quicker a miracle. There is a force fighting you. There's a force fighting you. Yes, when you see yourself, you sleep. You see yourself eat in the dream. Yes, sir. Answer me, are you yes, eat sir. in the dream? Yes, sir. And sometimes you see yes, yourself carry baby yes, in yes. the dream. Yes, sir. Yes, you sir. are always eating carrying baby. Yes. And anytime you write exam, you are affected. Yes, sir. Yes. Is it true? Yes, sir. Yes, you are in 200 level. Yes, sir. Yes, you are sir. studying sociology. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are blessing by name. Yes, sir. Is that your name? Yes, sir, Who is Samuel in the family? Sister, Who is Chinyere in the family? My sister, my sister. Oh, I thought sister, they are shouting I that word. Yes, word. I prophesy. Prophetic <laughs> browser. Can I talk to you? Is there anybody in the family like a day or la or something? A day or la? Um, a day or la? This is my daughter. It's your daughter? Yes. There's a lot of spiritual battle facing this oh, one. Yes, Papa. She is always seen herself by river, oh, right, water. Papa. There is a marine spirit tormenting oh, her. Right, Papa, Papa. Is it true? It's true. When she wake up, she complains, she explains, yes. she cannot. Because they have tried to initiate her. Oh, yes, Papa. They have tried to initiate her. Oh, yes, Papa. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Fire. 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 The mighty name of Jesus. Fire. Fire. Every battle from the father house. Every battle from the mother side. Can I get the third person holding this person? I break the powers of darkness. I break the powers of darkness. In the name of Jesus. You marine power. Fire. 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 Why are you trying to initiate this one? Fire. I torment you forces. Fire. 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 You can say the reaction. Ooh. Don't worry now. She's going to be free. There have been series of miscarriage. There have been series of miscarriage. Yes, sir. You are free. Let me yes, talk sir. to you. Yes, series sir. of miscarriage. Yes, daddy. This year alone, three times. Yes, daddy. It's true, sir. Now you have 12 miscarriages. Yes, sir. 12. Yes, sir. Follow me. Come here. Yes, sir. There is a goal in the house tonight. You can see that. I will talk to you. I need to see you. You need children? Yes, Daddy. Huh? Yes, sir. Anytime I have a dream, I will see blood in the dream. And then that is the that's end that of the happen. pregnancy. And I will be seeing women. I don't know. I didn't see the face of the woman. I will be using her to hit my tummy and fighting me in that dream. She has vowed that you will not have the baby. Oh, Jehovah. She's the one eating up the children one uh, after the other. Yes. You have gotten two sets of twins among oh, these Jehovah. 12 miscarriage that you've lost. Six of them a boys Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus Hey in the sorrow Kimole kuwa Imole siwa Gege bi orore o Pase imole so kuku ayi ni Baba sorrow Break. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. Mighty name of Jesus. 
Bring your hand. Put it by your wife's stomach. Uluwa hengi lotosi, hengi lotosi, hengi lotosi o. Uluwa hengi lotosi, latiba bo. It's done. Your twins are released. Babokoko, Lori ni ni nuara ya alaye kole ba okwiro ni nuoko ya eni nyoho le ba okwiro ni nuoko ya Yesu le ba okwiro ni nuoko ya. Ini yo le ba opiro ni nu ho ko re Do you know anybody in Cross River? Yes, eh? Yes man of God. Oh, are you from Cross River? I'm from Cross River. You are from Cross River? Yes. A lot of battles, 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 battles. Things are very difficult. Very very difficult. Papa help me. You know you are in battles. Sometimes you are even confused. Papa, I see a school environment, and I see a lot of struggles and struggle. Yes, eh? yes, Father. Is this your woman? Yes, Papa. You are not an happy woman. You are not happy. Yes, eh? yes sir. I don't want to go deeper. Yes. Forgive your husband. There's something that is getting you angry. Each time you think about it, you are not happy. Yes, sir. You are the intercessor of your husband. Anytime you pray, God opens the door. Since this thing happened, you are not happy with him at all. Yes, and then because your heart is not happy, his ways are blocked. Yes, forgive him. I, I, I don't want to mention it. I'm a disciplined prophet. But I want you to forgive him. Are you hearing me? Yes, forgive him. Papa. Because you are suffering as he's suffering now. Huh? Forgive him. Papa, help us. Are you getting what I'm saying? You know, I'm it's upset. between three of us now. We know what I'm saying. Yes. Things will turn around. Amen. Things Amen. will turn around. Amen. The God of heaven who can make things to turn is already turning things around. Amen. Who is Janet? Who is George? I see three girls. Elizabeth, blessed. And you are looking for a male child. Come here, two of you. Amy Koleshe. for you and i want two of you to dance you hear me because a testimony after the yes, missus, boy that song i want you to sing it i don't know how to pronounce it in calabar or Akwai, but i love that mm. i want to see two of you Your wife and dad. 
of them that's why you are not dancing To your life restoration holy your wife hands blessings and the male children thank you jesus thank you lord thank you give jesus a clap of rain are you blessed i thought you were shouting that one like thunder all that you have lost recover them back it is house recover land recover joy recover promotion recover shout that amen three times sit down please all titans come out before i move forward quickly all titans Whatever God has laid upon your heart, you can be a partner, you can sow your seed, 
You can give anything God has laid upon your heart to give. Um, get the account details. They are all displayed on the screen. And sow your seed. Don't fall into the hands of scammer. Just as I'm praying right now, the account details are there. Don't let anybody give you a different account apart from those account details you see. I pray for all of you who are partners of Champions Television or partnering with me as a man of God or giving your tithe or offering through any means, whether PayPal or the rest. Your doors are open, you are blessed, and you are lifted for life in the name of Jesus. I pray for those of you in house who are giving your seed, your doors open. God open you to greatness, to favor, in the name of Jesus. You can sow your seed. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? Can I see you put some smiles on your figures? Uh, the way you are smiling, I don't know whether you are ready. Okay, those of you that booked for deliverance, come out quickly. Let me pray for you. Quickly. Those of you that booked for deliverance, quickly. Why? Why? <laughs> Atamuna boma bariye Atamuna boma bariye Iye Atamuna boma bariye 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 Where are the things where you they do? They sweet for both like sugar, sugar like honey. Yeah. In the water. This is where you they do. They sweet for both like sugar, sugar like honey. Yeah. In the water. Hello, hello, hello. Hallelujah. Hosanna. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Hosanna. National Headquarters, Champion City of Wonders, Chikokwere, Kubwa, Abuja, Nigeria. Watching at your screen right now, you can see God's servant, Papa Joshua Igila, setting the captive free by the help of the Holy Spirit. We urge you to call the numbers right now on the screen. Our counselors are there to give you the necessary information 
on how you can be part of the deliverance. If there is any time to seek for deliverance in such a time like this, we urge you not to die in silence. Find your way down to Champion City of Wonders and just a touch from Papa Joshua Igila. Every yoke in your life will be broken in the name of Jesus. However, we urge you to watch us live on our Champions Television, YouTube channel Champions TV. Follow us on our Facebook, Joshua Igila Ministry. As you connect, your life will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. The Bible speaking, it says that upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Champions Royal Assembly is a Mount of Zion where you come and possess your possession. We urge you not to die in silence. Call the numbers right now on the screen, our counselor today, to give you the necessary information and how you can be part of the deliverance. And as you connect your life, would never remain the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me speak to the house. It's the moment now, okay? L'homme de Dieu, notre papa, Joshua, il est là. Prie pour ceux qui se sont enregistrés pour la ligne de prière. Je ne sais pas partout où vous regardez. Vous regardez la télévision champion, un, deux, trois ou soit plus. Vous regardez dans l'internet. Joshua, il est la ministre. Je ne sais pas, soyez connectés. La question n'est jamais une barrière. Touchez seulement l'écran. Par la démonstration, la touche seulement de l'homme de Dieu et par la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Voici ceux-ci reçoivent leur délivrance et reçoivent ceux qui sont venus ici avec des problèmes, pas des percées, ceux qui sont dans la cage du diable, dans la cage des souffrances, des problèmes, des démoniques, maléfiques. Mais aujourd'hui, je regarde seulement par la touche. C'est écrit que n'importe qui, que l'homme de Dieu, le Fils de l'homme, rendra libre, il sera libre pour toujours. Il regarde seulement par la touche. Au nom de Jésus-Christ, il reçoit reçoivent leur délivrance par la puissance du Saint-Esprit. Soyez connectés et soyez bénis. Au nom de Jésus.
You can say the manifestation. You can say the reaction. And just a touch, he is set free in the name of Jesus. You too can be set free. All you need to do is to call the numbers right now on the screen. Our counselors are there to give you the necessary information on how you can find your way down. She has moving object. It's don't play with me. Eh? You say what? I say you should not play with me. You can hear the demon speaking to her. Fire! Fire! Don't play with me. So, <laughs> I should fight with you. <laughs> what have you done to her? I have spent many things in her body. Many, Speak louder. Many, many. many I things. have spent many things. She How many of you are inside the body? <laughs> okay. She's your wife? Yes, sir. She's your wife. Okay. Yes, sir. Don't worry, she'll be delivered. Mighty Lord Jesus. Free. You too. Sorry, sorry, Jesus. sorry. She is set free in the name of Jesus. You too can be set free. Call the numbers right now on the screen. Our counselors are there to give you the necessary information on how you can find your way down to Champion City of Wonders. And just a touch from Papa Joshua Igela. You will be delivered in the name of Jesus. Téléspectateurs, toujours, c'est le moment de la délivrance qui continue toujours par l'homme de Dieu. Regardez, regardez la démonstration. Regardez seulement ceux qui se sont liés, ceux qui, ont, ceux qui sont liés par les esprits démoniaques, des esprits mieux. Et ils sont libres. Beaucoup viennent ici avec leurs problèmes et ils reçoivent des solutions. Partout, n'importe où vous êtes, vous regardez au monde. Vous regardez la télévision champion, appelez, il y a des numéros dans vos écrans. On vous montrera. Il des, des conseils sont là pour vous accueillir et mon, vous montrera comment de s'enregistrer. Regardez. C'est le témoin qui crie. Le qui l'a nié. C'est le cri du démon <rire> qui commence à démontrer sa force. Il crée parce qu'il y a trop de feu ici. Seulement par une seule touche par l'homme de Dieu. Regardez, voici les libres. En nom puissant de Jésus, regardez toujours la puissance du Saint-Esprit qui continue. Viewers all over the world, this is a moment where Papa Joshua Igela prays for the pregnant women. Wherever you are and you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, we urge you to connect as Papa Joshua Igela prays for the pregnant women. You too will receive your baby in the name of Jesus. God has been blessing us with the fruit of the womb through Papa Joshua Igela. Wherever you are and you are trusting God, we urge you to call the numbers right now. Our counselors are there to give you the necessary information on how you can find your way down to Champions Royal Assembly. And just a touch from Papa Joshua Igila. Every yoke of barrenness in your life will be broken. And you will receive your own baby in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will be dealing with all expectant mothers and those expecting and trusting God for fruit of the womb in this three days program i'll start praying for fruit of the womb friday saturday and sunday i will not use only on sunday from friday saturday sunday i'll be praying for those three days for all the mothers who are trusting god to carry their baby i don't know how long you are barren and you are trusting god for a baby here god gives children and that's why if you if you are around for those three days and this oil is walking around god will perfect all so i will dedicate the three days praying for all the barren women 
C'est le moment auquel l'homme de Dieu, notre papa Joshua, il a pris pour les femmes enceintes. Je sais pas partout vous êtes, vous êtes derrière, le vous cherchez okay. le fruit d'entraille. The name of Jesus, I correct the abnormalities and I declare you free, baby and the mother. That's all. Vous avez des difficultés d'accouchement? Cherchez le chemin et venez. Venez ici au champion. Soyez enregistré, vous êtes enceinte. Vous aurez votre délivrance. Et si vous êtes stérile, vous aurez aussi votre fruit d'entraille. Par la puissance du Saint-Esprit, au nom de Jésus. Give Jesus a clamp offering. Don't be a negative person. Be positive about life. Be positive about Nigeria. Remember my prophecy, April, about the three months, May, I mean May, June, and July. Those of you who have been listening to the news, you can see a lot that have been flying since I gave the prophecy. I also want to appreciate the federal government for being proactive and taking some other measures um, in order to cop some security challenge and the rest. No government prays to fail. And so let us be positive about our country and let us be a believer. What makes America great is that the average America was always proud of being an American. And that's why we should be proud of being what we have. For now, until any other thing or otherwise, you are still in Nigeria. And that's why you must pray. The Bible says you should be looking for the good of your land. While we pray for Nigeria, let us not forget praying for Israel and the Palestine war that is going on. The Middle East, there's a lot of tension that is going on. It's far back history that have been there for years. Some will call it religious, some will, some will say it's a battle along the line of space and territory. Whatever it is, let's keep praying. All over the world, there are tensions and there are indications that the master is coming. When you look at all the, the restlessness everywhere, big shots, big towns, big powers, big nations are all having fear. Suddenly, there is uncertainty everywhere. The only place we can find refuge and grace and strength is in the Lord. And that's why we should pray. As we have our own peculiar problem here in Africa, and especially in Nigeria, other great nations have their own challenges. Let us first be a first believer of what we believe. And like I keep saying, when there is injustice, you cannot give bad to justice until you treat injustice. When there is what I call one-sided kind of leadership, where one party and one group of people feel they are not inclusive, there is always going to be what we see. I've always been someone who believes that wars are not won by guns and bullets. They are won when we sit down at tables and dialogue. It's very important to engage wisely with people that are aggrieved than to use force and violence. If we talk about peace, we must act peace and present peace and move with peace. It's very, very important. And let's keep praying that the leaders at the aim of affairs should understand as they try to do that so many things are not done by force. They are done by understanding and discussion, dialogue. If restructuring can help us, then let's restructure. And if there is any name you want to call it, because every time we have political name for so many things, whatever you want to call it, just make sure that people that are grieved are comforted and healed. Somebody will say, why are religious leaders putting their mouth in politics and everything? 
And I used to say that go and read history and understand very well that the education that you and I are enjoying today came from missionaries. So you can't eliminate religious leaders. Jesus said, my will is to bring the wish of my father, kingdom. Well, you can't talk about kingdom without talking about religion institutions. They are very, very important. Any country that push aside religious leader, be it whether Islam or Christian, etc., I want to tell you that that country is uh, preparing to be doomed. You must understand that there are people God has given insight, foresight to be able to talk. It's very, very important. A politician will come for four years and rule and go. We religious leaders, we are always here talking and we will never lose our relevance and our voice. Give Jesus a clamp of it. I will also advise that you use your face mask and make sure you sanitize and stay safe. Despite the fact we believe our God is a healing God, let us not tempt the devil to tempt us. Let's keep doing our best. For those of you who believe in vaccination, vaccinate. And those of you who are not still convinced about it, take your time to be convinced about it. Like I have said, you are entitled to your opinion and your decision. But what is my opinion as your, religion, as your spiritual leader here? I advise you to take the vaccine and stay safe. I advise you to do that. It's very, very important. And I have said this. There are so many big shots, powerful ministers I've been discussing with. They are all taking it. And it's very important that you do that. It's very, very important. Give Jesus a clap of faith. Can I say this? Fear is false evidence appearing real. The death that will kill you while you are inside the house will still come. The one that will kill you while you are outside will still come. If your time has not come, nobody can take your time. Stand up. Let's give Jesus a Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you prepared for this week? Don't forget, next week Sunday, we are dedicating our auditorium. Make some crazy noise. Stand up, stand up. Ah, ah, ah. Champion, this is not how we do it here. Make some crazy noise for Jesus. Hey! <laughs> are you not happy double celebration me and mama celebrating our birthday we are dedicating from grass to grace can you make some crazy noise I don't know what I do we love the soul for five minutes, we are just going to celebrate and I will leave you to go. Are you ready? I don't know what thing I do. Way make you love me so. I don't know what thing I be. Way make you love me so. I don't know what thing I do. Way make you love me so. Please, don't sit down. I want you to dance. I don't know what thing I be. Way make you love me so. That is why. That is why. That is why. That is why, that is why, oh why, oh why, I'm gonna bless you your day. I don't know what in I do. I don't know what in I mean. That is why, 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 oh why, oh why, I'm gonna bless you your day.
Have I anointed you now? How many? Four times. We have how many times to go now? How many? How many? I hope you have not missed anyone. Some of you have missed. Well, I know there are some of you who will not miss. Some shot fire. Lift up your two hands up, stretch it to the altar. Can I get everybody from all the weeks? As you are standing everything that have been paralyzed in your life stand up again i want to hear that amen where like thunder i prophesy as you are standing you stand on the head of your enemies and the way you are shouting that amen is look like you are not ready for what god can do please don't sit down or don't sit down i prophesy no enemy will sit on your place from today every door that are closed are open i want to hear that amen i'm not hearing it well money come to you now glory come to you now whatever figure you desire i release it for your life i prophesy that mouth shouting amen will not die I prophesy in less than 24 hours those that want you to die they go down enemies of your glory they go down every arrow they release to you back fire by fire i want to hear that amen like thunder the louder the amen the miracle is happening shout that amen six times Those of you with vow after the service come to the altar to see me. Don't forget to redeem all your pledges. Let's share the grace. Once you go, the grace with of our Lord. Eyes open. Receive help. Choosing regeneration. Royal people. Peculiar people. We are called to spawn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation. A generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom, we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on, a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah! If they could not stop me, they cannot stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Choosing generation, royal people, 
people here people we are called to turn the nobody to somebody we are choosing generation a generation of queens and kings in our kingdom and kingdom we take over we rule we are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven we are called to save people raising a generation of champion we are people of royalty of fire a fire branch on a people of the prophetic we are a prophetic generation a spiritual radical mad for jesus i mean passion for soul we are heavily minded we are heavily candidate our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop stop you i prophesy with my two eyes open receive help champion choosing regeneration royal people peculiar people we are called to turn the nobody to somebody we are choosing generation a generation of queens and kings in our kingdom and kingdom we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on, a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation, a spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded, we are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. My God is a mighty God. What is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder. Now you create this world. My God is a mighty God. What is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder. Now you create this world. Mighty God. Joshua Igilla. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop. Stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Champion. Choosing regeneration. Royal people. Peculiar people. We are called to turn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation. A generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom. We take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champion. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on, a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation, a spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded, we are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. My God is a mighty God. What is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder. Now you create this world. My God is a mighty God. What is a mighty God? Only Lord of wonder. Now you create this world. Mighty God. Joshua 
Joshua Igila. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop you. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Choosing regeneration, royal people, peculiar people. We are called to stun the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom, we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Joshua Igila. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop. You. I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Champion. Choosing regeneration. Royal people. Peculiar people. We are called to stun the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation. A generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom. We take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on, a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation, a spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded, we are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Joshua Igila. People call me Aurora Master. By the Aurora on my head, uncommon favor, enlargement, unstoppable seed. I prophesy you and your family overtake. When men are saying there is a casting down, you shall be shouting that there is a lifting up. Nothing can stop you. Nothing can stop you. Ah, if they could not stop me, they cannot stop I prophesy with my two eyes open. Receive help. Choosing regeneration, royal people, 
peculiar people. We are called to spawn the nobody to somebody. We are choosing generation, a generation of queens and kings. In our kingdom and kingdom, we take over, we rule. We are called to depopulate hell and populate heaven. We are called to save people, raising a generation of champions. We are people of royalty, of fire, a fire branch on a people of the prophetic. We are a prophetic generation. Ah, spiritual radical, mad for Jesus. I mean, passion for soul. We are heavily minded. We are heavily candidate. Our passion is to make heaven and heaven alone. Oh,